Hello, my friends. Are we live? Can I get some confirmation in the chat? Because YouTube's being weird. Appreciate everyone tuning in. How you doing? I don't do this often, but I figure today... You know, usually I do this, uh, this part offline when it comes to content creation and making videos. And, uh, you know, this has been one of like, the most anticipated games of the year, but it's been a weird one because for the longest time we've not known whether or not it's even real. Whether or not this game... I mean, it's so loud, by the way. Sorry. Let me turn down uh, desktop audio on OBS. If it's quiet later and I forget, then uh, you just let me know. The music is deafening and I can't get in the settings yet. We're currently in server simulator. I've kind of been like this for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, trying to get in. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be playing with Stod and Aculi today, but I doubt at this rate we're going to get it working. Um, the problem seems to be that if you see this like list of servers, this is Asia, this is Europe. And then it stops there. This is the total number amount of servers that are uh, available. So um, everyone's just trying to get in. And this is often the problem. Connection problems, because technically, even though it says it's, you know, it's not full, it definitely is. So this is the game we're playing right now. But is Tomographic real? That's the real question. Indeed. What game is this? This is the day before. It's um, basically a game that's an amalgamation of a bunch of different games. Think, Division, Daisy, bit of Tarkov maybe, nah. I think there's actually a Dark Zone, so... Is my game crashing in this screen? Wow! That's fun. We do love that. Let's relaunch the game. Just sat in the menus, guys. I was just sat chatting to you. Mamma mia. Here we go again. Seems promising. Yeah, a crash in the main menu. That's unbelievable. It's actually real. I think you have to go outside to play it. <laughs> Hope you didn't pay money for this. I did. I did. I can't believe I've just crashed on the main menu of the game. So this is what this is the this is the uh, the point of the stream. Typically, I would record this offline, but I wanted to show you all of the teething problems and see how far we get today. Um, yeah, just actually experience the game. Um, and maybe I'll make a video out of this. I don't know. Are you playing Avatar as well? I have been, yeah. Treating you with two streams in a row. I am a streamer now. Uh, you don't see the game, do you? So I have to record this game with display capture because you don't see it like this do you it's a black screen that my friends is a problem so OBS is going to have some trouble with the game cool let's try uh, Europe scroll down here Chalkston can't connect we'll try some Asian servers I feel like this is going to be our best bet and I believe Stod is in an Asian server as well Highland View. That's a no. I heard it's just a mod for Power Washer Simulator, dude. I mean, it's it's pretty insane if you guys have been following along with the development of this game. If you look back at how the game used to look and how it looks now, it's obviously a huge downgrade. Um also like just assets and things that oh my god do you see this 
Oh, boy. Oh, brother. The good thing is with YouTube is that I can edit the VOD and um, trim it down for the people who watch the video afterwards. So I can just get rid of this part of the stream. <laughs> but we're crashing in the main menus, which is a good sign. Fatality. Sure, I've got a voice effect for that somewhere. Maybe I can make it. How's this? Fatality! Not bad. Not good. Scammed. Yep, it's looking like it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever crashed just sitting in a main menu, not pressing a single key, reading chat. That's hilarious. We will get in, though. I think people have been just constantly trying, and eventually it works. I think Doc was setting the menus for like 30, 40 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take us quite that amount of time. But, you know, sometimes I end up buying these games so you don't have to. And if I uh, end up going past the two years, the two years, the two hours uh, window for refunding the game, <laughs> so be it. That's the worst part, is that if that is the case, then some people are going to buy this game, spend two hours in menus, and then fall out of the, uh, the refund menu, the refund window even, and can't get their money back. Yeah, this is bad. They need to spool up more, like, servers. Or let you create your own, because... All of the current ones are full. We'll see Thomas' logo 20 times, yeah. I feel like Asian servers are going to be the play, though. Is this the full game? I thought it was alpha. Yeah, this is the early access, uh, Alex. Steam reviews are so bad. Yeah, what are they saying? We might have to read through some of them whilst we wait. Hang on. Oh, I was so... I was so confident we got in then. That was like a long fade to black. Store page. I mean, it's mostly going to be... I can't even get in, right? I can't even play. Scam, day before refund, terrific. I'll play this trailer in a sec so the people that are asking what the hell the game even is. So let's start with getting into a game, which is virtually impossible. I spent 10 to 15 minutes trying to get into a 32 population. Is that the max amount of players? Got in and played for like 40 minutes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Strap in, chat. Buckle up. The day that never started. Hmm. The day before. The day has arrived. The day after. The day after might actually be more stable. Yeah, I think it costs 33 pounds for me, so that's like, what, $40 maybe? Can we watch you get a refund live? <laughs> How funny is it when you fart and it passes the balls out your front? Anyway, love the content, long time fan. Uh, why is that the message? I first start reading. I glance over at chat, and that's the one. And I bet that guy was like, oh, he's never going to read this. <laughs> Ready to spend the next two hours just watching you try to get in? Nah, surely not. Surely not. Hey, Logan, how you doing, man? Uh, Eco, if you're still here, you donated whilst I was uh, offline, but thanks for the 599, dude. Let's see some battle bit. Yeah, we'll go back to that game. 
Definitely. They have a somewhat decent sized update, right? New map or something. Okay, let's actually try some European servers. Poppy Field, no. Is Acolyte struggling? Oh yeah. He said he's had to restart multiple times, he's crashed. Trying to get into a server now. He needs serious help. When he got when he got in the game, he said he couldn't open his map. So yeah, this is why I figured I'd stream it, because why 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 would I want to have these issues on my own? Sat here on my own. When I can at least chat to you guys. I'm being selfish, really. You guys can keep me company while I sit here and try to capture gameplay. I'm currently 15 minutes into a recording and this is the footage. I play Lego Fortnite. I think I'm going to try that. It's basically Minecraft, right? Uh, Black, thanks for the 10, man. We're just here for the ball plays, right? Can I have a refund? Thanks for the 5.99 you go. No. <laughs> No. Bro, do you want a server that's not full? Right, yeah, BirdBot, that's the thing. The um, the servers don't refresh to show you a live... Um, what's the word? A live update. So see how that one said hi? It's clearly not full based on reading that. But it is technically full, according to the game. The issue we're having, if you've just joined... And the issue everyone else is having trying to get into servers right now is that show North America, for instance. Someone said there's a total of 32 players per server. If I scroll down this list, I'm now at the end. So these are all the servers in Europe. That's it. These are all the servers in Asia. That's it. So what we're relying on is for someone to leave. Oh. <gasps> Let's go. We're in some random ass Asian server at the bottom of the list, which probably means we've got insanely high ping, but we're in the game, guys. Let's go. Drop a like on the stream. Wish us luck. <laughs> Let's hope we don't crash. I'm in a, I'm in a server, I think, Stod. Same. Just okay. I think the likelihood of us somewhere? actually playing together today... Yes, it's very low. Is slim. Oh, no, Ron, no. I'm in the doctor's office. The doctor's office. No, it's this is. No, I'm 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 stuck. I'm I'm in I'm in um, liminal space, Bill. Hmm. No. Come here, hand. It's like um. So basically, if you if you leave, if you get disconnected and then come back to the doctor's office, it's you you're ruined. What do we do? Okay. No time. I'm just going to go deaf for a sec. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Right, let's just see what this is about. Wasn't expecting subtitles or a story. It looks like your pupils are responding and your hearing is intact. Let me turn the volume up. You when we found you, you had lost a lot of blood. I don't usually believe in miracles, so I assume that your quick recovery is the result of incredible fortitude. Look at that motion capture, guys. Oh, by the way... Welcome to Woodbury. I think this is the first time we've ever seen you here. So, you're probably not from around these parts. But don't worry. Make yourself at home. So, can you get up? Try to get off the bed. Okay, how's my sense? Are you feeling dizzy? Yes, because I'm spinning my mouse around. Alright, 1440p. Let's try and like... Oh, I've got to be really careful actually. I should be careful changing some of these settings because it might crash the game. Of the city. 
How's the volume for you guys, by the way? Is it a bit on the lower end? Because maybe I should play with Max. For your sake. Yeah, I don't like that how the screen goes black when I save a setting. Alright, mouse sensitivity. Oh, that's, that feels faster. What? That's too low. Cool. I can lean. Great. I'm really glad to see you recovering so quickly. We've saved people from the outside before. But we practically pulled you back from the brink of death. My name is Leonard, Woodbury's doctor. Yeah, it's very full out. You are? My name is Tomo. Why do I have to click that? Why do I have to click that? All right. Your speech organs seem fine. Nice My speech you. organs? Well, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Why the chat GPT script is this? Better than I can. <laughs> so, if you're feeling okay already, you can grab your bag and go take a look around. Oh my god. Don't worry. Everyone in Woodbury already knows we have a newcomer. Okay, I'll go. What happened to me? Yeah, I was in a crash or something, right? We found you not far from Woodbury. Bleeding and unconscious. What in the AI dialogue? Your car was nearby, overturned. And it looked like you'd been fighting with a large group of infected. It's a good thing we found you in time. Well, anything else? I'm sure Chris will tell you more than I can. Okay, I'll go. Take care, and get well soon. After you talk to Chris, you can always find me at the infirmary. Goodbye. Don't forget to take your belongings. They're in the bag by the door. You like the sound of my speech organs, teabag. Thanks, man. Um... Chock RJ, thanks for coming to member, bud. Uh, naughty old man with the 10 for a coffee. Appreciate you. And uh, Eco with another 599. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Lean with it, rag with it. When you're going to start with it. Right, this is all my stuff. Okay. Take my bag. Can't drop items. Okay. Cool. Close. For weapons and other equipment, you can check out Ed shop. And if you need medical supplies, you'll be able to buy them from me when I return to the infirmary. Right, so this is another... So there's big, like, parts of the game that just look like they're stra straight out of, like, Last of Us or Division. Like, this is Joel's thing, right? He gets down and he... Inspect his bag. Can I close that and see the animation? You yeah. Must have been thirsty. If you go out again, don't forget to replenish your food and water supplies at Rob's bar. Daisy Stark get acquired. Okay, so now we're in the player hub. Welcome to Woodbury Survivor Colony, the only remaining shelter in New Fortune City. Please don't be copyright free, so I'm going to talk over it. Talk to Chris if you want to know more about Woodbury on your land plot. Blah, 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 blah. Buy weapons, ammo, and equipment from Eddard or sell it to him. Ah, please don't be copyright. It feels like it might be. I'm pretty scared. La la la. Day's gone. Why did I say that? It's called the day before. It's a different game entirely. This is awkward. There's a gym. You can actually exercise to build your stamina. Relax at the sauna to fully restore your health. Why, of course. Why, of course. Right, that's a player running about. Complete community tasks to earn money and reputation points. 
Alright then guys, hopefully my channel doesn't get taken down. Inform Chris that you've regained consciousness. Okay, that's the sprint. Yeah, I mean, that's Joel's run. Hello, friend. It's a nice map you have there. All right, who's who's uh, Chris? Chris is this way. Well, I don't know what FPS I'm getting, but um, feels mm, all right. Want well, this bit stuttery? Hello. Hello. You're the survivor we rescued a couple of days ago, aren't you? You're, you're the AI voice, aren't you? Your speedy recovery. It's good to see you're okay. We always tried to help those in trouble. Otherwise, where would we be if we didn't show humanity to each other? <laughs> Hello, Chris. Definitely I'm conscious again. Here. My name is Chris, and I'm in charge of this shelter called Woodbury. Here, we have gathered all the remaining survivors from New Fortune City and the surrounding suburbs. In Woodbury, we all work together towards rebuilding our society, and any help would be greatly appreciated. Each of us would like to live in a better world. A world where our children can play freely on the streets. You guys think my voice is deep? Jeez. Day in uncertainty and fear of death. This guy's got this no affliction in his voice. Get to know the members of our close-knit team to see how everything is organized here. Okay. Talk to the weapons trader, Eddard. The storage keeper, Abby. Eddard? The bartender, Abby. Rob. Rob. And Dr. Leonard. Leonard. After you're done talking, come back to me. And in the meantime, I'll register you. Alright. Thanks, Chris. Chris, I'm conscious again. Okay, I'm gonna actually, um... Screen mode. Full screen. Please don't crash. For the love of God. Thank you. Um, I mean, it launches with frame generation. That's cool. Doesn't feel that well optimized. Dare I say it? Let's drop some settings because I think the main... The main thing in this game is going to be the PvP. So I'm not really trying to play it like a single player game. The rarest goods in the entire area. I'll Mike? Let's move on to my favorite part. What's your favorite part? Although my shop I actually don't care. I'm just going to skip. Goodbye. See you again, my friend. There's not someone I need to talk to. It's added over here. Hi there. Can't go in there. Cooey. The hey, good luck to you. Hello, friend. Greetings, buddy. I see you finally recovered. Let me introduce myself. I'm Eddard, the weapons trader. It was my guys who found you almost dead out there. We don't leave people in distress here in Woodbury. Quite the opposite, actually. Here, I've got something for you. This sounds very AI. Thank you. The power of a weapon depends on its class, tier, attachments, and ammunition type. When the weapon's durability is fully depleted, it becomes unusable. So it needs to be repaired at, uh, repaired in time at weapons traders. Okay. This is the Molot Hunter. An excellent rifle. Just needs to be assembled at the workbench. Once you assemble it, you can have it for yourself. It's a gift. With Thanks, Eddard. You'll have a better chance of making it back home on your own two feet, rather than on a stretcher like last time. What do you mean, I'm conscious now? The important thing is that you're alive. Yes. The rest doesn't matter. Well, I wish you luck, buddy. If you want to work top notch weapons, top ammunition, weapons, ammunition, or if you want to sell anything you don't need, feel free to come to me. It. Yep, cool. Uh, goodbye. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. <laughs> I'll never forget. My this is not... That's, that's not a voice actor, right? It can't be. See you, buddy. I'm an android. In the upper mode, you'll come across workbenches that are indispensable. Yeah, that's literally Last of Us. If you need to install attachments on your weapons or dismantle items into viable consumables, 
before using the workbench, make sure that the area around you is safe. Okay. Hand guard. Oh, receiver. Dust cover. Go back. I don't see it changing anything. Okay, that, that I do. Okay. Is this not Joel's run from The Last of Us? Huh. A map. It's one of those things that's always... What the hell? Oh, right. I thought it was one guy. I thought it was one guy with five guns. You're the survivor everyone's been talking about lately, right? Glad to see you're okay. I'm Abby, the storage room keeper. It's the safest place in Woodbury, so people use it to store their personal belongings. I can see your backpack is pretty full. Leave the things How can you, you don't need right now. The quantity with me. of my backpack. It'll make it easier for you to move around. Don't worry. They'll be perfectly safe here. I can see your chest is pretty full. <clears throat> nice uh, rack, Abby. I mean, gun rack, Abby. Open storage. <laughs> Feel free to use it. Can I have all of it? Why can't I have all of it? Wait. I don't want to store my stuff. Great. That's the way to go. The storage room is available completely free of charge for all Woodbury residents. Chris registered you, didn't he? Please talk to him. Uh, if you suffer a fatal injury in the open world, you will lose all the items in your backpack to prevent losing valuable items. Save them in the storage. <laughs> Just saw a chat explode. Hey, yo! Um, <clears throat> I've gone flush. Talk to Dr. Leonard. This way. How are things going? Remember. Oh, they're going all right. to visit us. I mean, be happy to share. You'll try some some pretty cool like design. But again, like this is straight out of the division. Like your attitude, buddy. Buddy. Keep finding these floating tablets everywhere. These are like the map that like a player would bring out, so for some reason it keeps freezing. Chris, once you do register as a resident of Woodbury. Ah, uh, Chris. That's great. Got some popsicles in my freezer. New members to our community. Just yesterday, we weren't sure if you would be okay. Well, in that case, I need to give you this. There we go. That thing. GPS map shows all points of interest and evacuation routes on a map of New Fortune State. You can also use it to see and accept the community tasks that the people of Woodbury are giving you. It's a GPS map of New Fortune City, and it's You just told me that, Skip. Keep an eye on the map. Yep, you just told me that, Skip. According to the rules, I need to wait for confirmation from Chris that you're a registered resident. Okay. Once you're done with that. Feel free to all okay. right then. Okay. Um let's see what has to I trade. haven't received any message from Chris. Okay. After that. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, I didn't mean to click I that again. After Goodbye. Come for medication anytime. That was a bit weird. Come for medication anytime. I'll medicate you. See me hey, in my office. Coyote. Um. See me this way. Get to the gameplay. This is the gameplay. Hey, nice Tosh. Welcome to Woodbury, pal. I'm so happy to finally see you a lot. Welcome to my bar. How are you doing? Enjoying your time here, huh? Actually, Chris warned me that he'd be sending you my way to get to know each other. So, I've prepared a little gift for you. Sure, what is it? Thank you. Medication's cool. I kept this first aid kit for myself. Cool. But, and I like you. So Thank you. It. Bye. So, did Chris get you registered already? No. When you're done, swing by here. I you always got food, have drinks, and supplies. Again, cool. Goodbye, friend. Have a great day. <laughs> the... the... The characters just aren't very engaging. There's no, uh... 
the infliction in their voices. This guy especially. Since Chris to finish the registration. Great. I see you've met everyone. So, what do you think of Woodbury at first glance? It's certainly one of the shelters of all times. That's okay. I understand how you feel. I hope you've realized that we don't wish you any harm. I'm confident that you'll find something to keep you occupied here. So, now I'll inform the team that you're a registered resident, and from this moment on, all the services provided by Woodbury will be at your disposal. Hmm. Uh, do you have to live here? Will I have my own room? Woodbury is established on the site of a middle school, so there are no individual rooms left for accommodation. Most residents live in communal areas and keep their personal belongings in the storage room. Is this a single player game? No, there is PvP. Storage. We are currently working on setting up a small safe settlement outside of Woodbury. Every one of our residents can move there if they wish. You know what? Okay, so I'll go find a plot of land. Take you to the settlement. Just head to the exit. And I'll meet you there. If you have any questions about the land plot, you can, you can ask any time. Good luck. Good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people asking, like, what the hell, what the, hell the game even is. It's weird. Let me, um, play that trailer I said I was going to show. It's like a couple minutes long. Before offers a unique. Here you go. Here's another AI voice. The Day Before offers a uniquely reimagined journey into post-apocalyptic MMO open-world survival. Artfully developed by Fantastic and brought to you by the publisher Mytona. The open world of The Day Before is beautiful and richly detailed. Set in the present day on the U.S. East Coast, following a deadly pandemic. The game begins after you are rescued by the survivors of the Woodbury Colony, your new refuge and safe home. From now on, the doors of Woodbury will always be open to you. But first, you will create your unique character. Select a personality, choose a gender, and customize every detail. Immerse in yourself in our vision of post-apocalyptic America. Woodbury survivors are working to rebuild the community. Constantly needing supplies, building materials, and various items. Your main task is to bring as much valuable loot as possible. And in return, you'll be rewarded with the local currency known as Woodbury Coins. Who the hell needs your junk? Keep track of your health, hunger, and thirst indicators. And remember, dangers are everywhere here. Ranging from the vicious infected to other players who are ready to take everything from you. Yeah, We've designed in survival dark, so. in this world to be a thrilling experience. The weapons, which can be modified, are made with maximum realism to ensure that combat remains deep and engaging at all times. Maximum realism! Each weapon boasts unique characteristics, as well as realistic yeah, nice. reload and recoil mechanics. What? Engaging at all times. Each weapon boasts characteristics, unique realistic characteristics, recoil. as well as realistic reload and recoil mechanics. Oh, brother. Completing various community tasks also presents an opportunity to earn Woodbury Coins. Well, well, who do I see here? How's it going, my friends? Woodbury Coins can be exchanged for ammo, from regular to armor piercing. We're going to go a little tutorial protective here. Protective equipment, backpacks, food, drinks, and medicines. Spa access to relax <laughs> and a gym to work out. Let me just hang on, guys. Safeguard your accumulated items. Why don't you play this game with the boys? Hang on, guys. Uh, I'm pretty low on health. I need to go jump in the jacuzzi for 20 minutes. Items by storing them in secure storage. Exchange Woodbury coins oh, yeah, that's for cards too, to swiftly collect loot and access distant, hard-to-reach locations. You will receive your own ranch. Where you can purchase and upgrade houses. Okay, we're about as to get well to this bit, so. Welcome to the next generation of post apocalyptic MMO open world survival games like never before. There you go. For everyone asking what the game even is, it's a post apocalyptic open world survival game with no open world. Um, me on mute for Stod. Okay, I've uh, got through the very talky um, introduction to all of the characters. Stoddeth. Okay. Did you find something? 
I bet he's muted me. Oh, wait, he's not even in the Discord anymore. Hang on, did he message me on Twitter or something? Right then. Go to the settlement and examine your land plot. Yeah, I was hoping to play some, uh, you know, play co-op with the boys, but it's not really a thing we can do. Because the servers are so chalked. Land plot. <laughs> he went to bed. Uh, Captain Craig, thanks for the 20, man. Only thing worse than a slow start to a game is sitting on a leather seat and getting spooked when the fart passes past the balls out the front. <laughs> what, dude? Welcome to your land plot. Here you can build your own house and upgrade it, as well as purchase furniture for it. Wow. Open world, guys. Yeah, so it's like instance-based. You go from one explorable part to the next. Oh, oh. The most shallow lake known to man. So this isn't a scam after all? Yeah, apparently not. I mean... Well, maybe. I am I am playing this game with a very, like, sceptical mindset, right? Like... I'm judging everything right now, and maybe that's unfair, but... Ultimately, this is just another, like, early access survival game, so I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. It's just... I'm not fully, like... I don't respect their business practices and, like, how much is, like... You know, if you've, if you've seen all the videos and all, like, the stolen assets and re recycled stuff and literally copying buildings and landscapes um, entirely. Obviously, we spoke about, like, The Last of Us um, uh, influences. Like, you know, I run a lot like Joel. I sprint like Joel. When I go in my inventory, I crouch down on, like, Joel. Uh, even the day before Logo, which is... I mean, do you even see it? Yeah. If you know what the Last of Us logo looks like, it's literally a carbon copy. Like if you imagine those words said, The Last of Us, like that font and that style is exactly the same. Anyway, let's set up a tent. Uh, building mode. Okay, so building mode is in first person, and I'm... Uh, Stod called this cock cam. Because I'm not in my eyeball perspective. I'm in my... <clears throat> my other ball perspective. Browse the catalogue. Houses. Tent. Two million that one house costs. Place furniture inside your tent. Okay. Can only buy this. This is where I shall sleep. Cha-ching. Oak side table. Can I put it behind the bed? Anything else? Buy a radio. Yep, so I can I can play my ASMR. Why can I not put it on top of that? Come on. I can do it on that. I can't do it on this. Maybe I can? I can put it on the bed, but not the cabinet. What? Anything else? A lamp? There we go, I can do that. Wait. 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 I'm too OCD with this stuff, man. Go back to Woodbury. Wow. Exit building mode. I have been told that you're settling in nicely. That's great. You can come to your land plot whenever you want. By the way, Abby wanted you to visit her before letting you into the city. 
Okay. Okay, Abby. You had me at the word Abby. Uh, Forbian, thanks for the... Oh, you're becoming a member for the first month. Appreciate that, man. Stod went to bed, they locked him in. The doctor locked him in a room and he couldn't get out. Right. Thank you, dude. Hi there, just seeing the game for the first time after all the drama. Is it really good? Mm. Okay, it's, it's tough to say based on first impressions because the game hasn't opened up for me yet. But it's a bit jank and a bit jarring in like the presentation. Hey, good luck. I don't feel like I'm playing something fresh because I've poured a lot of hours into like the division and stuff beacon of civilization in these challenge you're back it's great that chris managed to call you here before Hi, Abby. you head into the city and i saw your meager equipment and thought you've just recovered from an injury i can't let you go Hi, like Hi, Abby. so i've asked chris to let me give you a little financial aid from woodbury in honor of your registration as a new resident this is enough money to buy another weapon from Eddard. Damn, um, Abby, you trying to riz me up? And I suggest you put what's left in the storage, just in case. She got a degree in quantum physics. No need to thank me. The best thing you can do for us in return is to work with us to rebuild our community. You've probably already received some tasks from the Woodbury residents on your tablet, so don't forget to check them out. And thanks in advance for your help. Just take care of yourself and come back alive. And the rest doesn't matter, okay? Okay, Abby. I'll That's do my great. best. So, do you want to open the storage room, or do you want to talk about something else? Uh, uh. <laughs> Bye, Abby. <laughs> See you again. New begin. See, that's Last of Us font. Come on. All right, open journal. Here we go. Here's that little map thing. Hey, your help is really needed right now. Because people cannot live without water, the shelter cannot exist without a water supply system. Lately, there have been many complaints that it's failing into, it's falling into disrepair. Make sure the water supply on Woodbury is uninterrupted. Track. Okay. How far away is that from me? Where am I? I'm having to use my scroll wheel, and I can't freely drag the map around, so that's... Oh, I can use AWSD. Gotcha, gotcha. Get out of my screen. A source of life. I suppose this is the dark zone, so I'm not actually in this place. Where's Woodbury? Eco, thanks for the 12, man. Alright guys, let's hopefully uh, get into some gameplay. We're heading to the dark zone now. Uh, I'm just going to call it that because that's basically what it is. But um, We're going to enter like a PvP and PvE zone where there's zombies and players. Fortune C. Here we go. Here comes the gameplay. The mouth animation is terrible. Yeah, there's not... Any uh, mocap done? It's a bit like the old Fallout games. Seems like Division with Fallout 4 level NPCs, yeah. What does this game have overwhelmingly negative reviews on Steam already? I think people have started playing this game expecting to hate it, so out of the gate, they already had like a negative mindset. Um. If you've been following along, then you'll know it's a bit too much to get into, but you can look into all the, like, pre-release drama. Uh, everyone thought this game was fake. Uh, too good to be true, and... So far, it kind of is. Like, the, the initial trailers sell it as something that it's not. And graphically, it looked like... A, like a truly next-gen game, and now that it's out... Clearly isn't, like... I'd say Division 1 looks better than this game. Uh, now you can explore New Fortune City and its surroundings in the search of viable items to sell. Make sure to bring enough supplies to avoid getting into a desperate situation. Or have the infected and other survivors who may pose a threat to you. To prevent losing out your items, store the most valuable ones in the storage of your protective case. Once you've found enough valuable items, head to the evacuation points to return to Woodbury. Other players may be waiting for you there. Be careful. Have entered the danger zone. Collect as much 
much valuable loot as possible. This is free or costly. Cost me thirty-three pounds on Steam, which is about forty dollars. Uh, right. Bring my gun out. Is there a first-person camera switch to iron sights? One thing we haven't actually looked at is the controls, so... Fire, aim, reload. Grenades on five, put away weapon with X. Communication. There's no VoIP. Vehicle horn. Okay, this is vehicle stuff. Okay, so how do I, like, ADS? Because in that trailer... You can see them look down the iron sights. There's no first person toggle. It's only third. So I'm here, and I need to go all the way over there. Bingo. And it does start a little bit. Yeah, middle mouse doesn't do anything. I thought maybe I could at least aim down sight in first person. What does that alarm mean? And I can't swap shoulders, it doesn't look like. Oh, I can. So when I lean left, I'll swap shoulders. I wish you could bring the map up on the fly, though. I'm trying to make a list of things we need. Abby's always... She wants me. Car? Yeah, there are cars, but... I think you need to obviously play for quite a bit. Maybe find keys and all that sort of thing. Obviously can't drive any of this. Yeah, the reviews are all talking about, like, performance... Server instability. Players. I do have a stamina bar at the very bottom of the screen. I mean, if I can get in a gunfight, get some loot. That's my footsteps I'm hearing. It's so delayed. Red X instead of FedEx. Yeah, man, this is not. Oh, shit. Bullets do I have ten? Well, the gunplay is absolutely sh that felt terrible. No feedback, couldn't tell if I'd landed a single shot. <laughs> what a great experience already! I think it's double tap ADS to go first person ADS. Okay. He was pinging me. Guys, that, you know when they said like, oh God. <laughs> what the fuck? Find the required items for Woodbury. Yeah. Um, so I don't have a gun anymore. Wait, this guy had meds and stuff, right? And I also stored some stuff with Abby, thank God. I'll be happy to share. You'll try such delicious vegetables. Wishing you a good day. I didn't have time to heal. Now Stop told me to like only do that when I'm actually fully safe because it locks you into a 
animation that you can't cancel. So it's like a seven second first aid. Uh, trade even, not this. Oh, shit. Come for medication anytime. Greetings. What do you need? Realistic shooting mechanics, by the way, guys, with Let's realistic see. recoil. Um, I no longer have a backpack. Not enough wood coins. Got wood? No, I don't, actually. Come for medication anytime. Abby? Craig, thanks for the two. That was more embarrassing than my bull fart story. Yep. Woodbury is a beacon of... Good to see you. If you... Open storage. Feel free to use it. Oh, she actually gave me coins. Come again. Take care of yourself. She's always asking me to come. Um, right, let's go speak to the doctor again. Actually, no, I've got enough meds. I need to buy a new gun now. What was his name? Hey, man. Realistic magazine size? Yeah, 10 rounds per mag was not fun there. Well, soldier. Trade. I've got something for you. What well, options do we have? A lot of gun parts. Hunting rifle. Garrison. Shotgun. So why do these show the damage and this one doesn't? This is actually the most expensive gun in the game that you start with. I'm going to buy an M16. Why would I not? Did I buy that? Cool. Can I buy a scope? I do not see one. 30 round mag. I imagine these have increased reload speeds. Thanks for the purchase. Goodbye, dude. Until we meet again. Oh, brother. Where was the bench again? The weapon bench? It's down here. This place is massive. Good to see you. Here's the gym. So I can just use this stuff to build my character's strength. Oh, you're right. I didn't buy ammo. I spent $50 to use that. What kind of gym membership is this? So I've got to wait for that bar to fill. So is this going to give me increased strength by the end of it? I didn't spend something to get nothing. I hope. Oh my god. Two sex guys. say, this is certainly one of the games of all time. And... Done. Your stamina is temporarily increased. Right, so you, there's no, like, strength system where... You know, you build up your character's strength. And I've already run out of stamina. <laughs> you know what? I actually like trading. What can I do for you, buddy? I need some ammo, buddy. I just bought a gun and a mag from you, and I didn't buy any ammo. Don't hesitate. Watch me not have Take enough ammo. Five, five, six. 
I would like to buy. How much do I have? Where's my money indication? 236. So I've got 47 bullets. Sick. Um, there's a lot of, like, lag between... Do I have three of these? No, three charges of the same first aid kit. Okay, so I need to keep that. Good luck. All right, guys, let's hope we can kill some people in that amount of bullets. Goodbye, dude. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Where's the workbench? I've forgotten where it was. In here. The guy's just crouching around. Buffalo rifle. Okay, well, how do I put the magazine that I bought in that gun? <sighs> don't tell me they don't go in this gun. I will cry. Is it even 556? Five, five, it better be 556. Five, I saw it as an M16, just assumed. Yeah, 556. Five, Why can I not use. So those just can't. Oh, for God's sake. Keep it up. Shut up. Matt, thanks for the 26 months, brother. Get here. Heading out. I am. You don't have to worry about the quality. I've sold you this crap back. Everything here is top notch. Dude, the lag when you open these menus. Okay, they've already been sold. Right. Well, now I'd like to buy some more ammo. Great choice. Thank you. Thanks for the perk. Yep. Peace. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. New Fortune City. You can't aim down sight, by the way. Yeah, I heard. It was double tap um, aim, right? Someone said. Try putting bullets in the mag first, then put the magazine in. I don't know if it's that deep. It might have been worth a try, but... I just clicked the magazine and bought it without hovering over it, which I think I had to do to know whether or not it was for that gun. I'd rather sell attachments and get more ammo anyway at this stage. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to like, the Yeah, doing that doesn't do anything. I've already got the ammo in the magazine, bottom right. Okay. I'm now here and I need to get there, so... About face. Can't actually exit that way. So there are extractions. Basically, it's an extraction shooter at this point. Similar to... The Dark Zones in the Division. Um, if I press M... You can see the the DMZ running man. Another asset taken from a game. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to go down this road. Just follow this road. Uh, Born, thanks for the 10, man. Use the case for stuff. You don't want to lose when you die. Yeah, the storage. Oh, are you saying there's a... Oh! There's a Tarkov case. Good shout, man. Money you can't store. I'll just put all that in there for now. Okay, that's good. So if you don't know, if you, if you haven't played Tarkov, that case, I've just put that stuff into. Um, that's stuff that will now be saved. If I die, I keep it. Okay, let's try this aim down sight thing.
Oh. Okay, so I'm holding to aim right now, which does this. And if I tap to aim, I do that. And there's reticle sway. You see that? Oh, that's really bad. You're better off ADSing at that point. Shots. Let's uh, stick to the left hand side here. Such a slow sprint. It's <laughs> a long ass refill on the uh, stamina bar too. should loot a bit. What and how do I loot? What am I looking for? I'm currently on my way to my mission objective. Which is right down this road. Beeping sound doesn't mean anything, does it? No. Shoot. I imagine the stamina also affects the wiggle of that, um... That crosshair. Your man sounds gassed out, Chief. Yeah, I need to get back in that gym. Didn't tell me how long the uh, buff was going to last after I did the... After I hopped on the bench press. Hey, what 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 counts as lootable items? How's your health feeling? Well, I guess you would. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to find your supplies, bruv. Yeah, any any stutters that you guys see are stutters that I'm also seeing in game. Performance ain't great. Look at the bags. Oh, look, it's you, chat. They put you in the game. Go back. I don't see bags, I don't see boxes. Oh. I see. Nail varnish. Can't search that one. Oh boy. Take any of this. Can't search that. They look like duffel bags. Okay. Yeah, gameplay is very jank. Takes a while for my character like to catch up to where I'm facing, if you know what I mean. Which means sprint is delayed. Strafing doesn't feel very good. So you're gonna wanna like stand still in combat. Crouch. Can't search any of this. I ran past two duffel bags near the beeping noise. Okay. I'm not gonna go back for it, because I'm Trying to do this objective, but thank you. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, I'm gonna search this. I'm just gonna have to walk up to a bunch of stuff and see if I can loot it. Unfortunately, there's no like proximity uh, indicator over the items that I run past that are lootable. So 
onboarding wise as a new player, there's going to be a lot of uh, Jesus, these stars. Um, you know, just walking up to things and seeing if you can loot it. Can't loot these. These shots are getting close. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, this is a uh, this is the day before. It's like an open world, ish, instance based. I'm currently in a uh, a PvP slash PV scenario where there's like zombies and players. Um, it's a, it's very like division, dark zone inspired right now. This is what you meant by duffel bags, but I cannot open it. So yeah, for the, for this point in the game, I'm currently basically playing a extraction shooter to find loot, do missions. Huh. I got a prompt and then it disappeared. So I can't actually get past that door. It's definitely blocked off, right? Yeah. No way in, so I have to go around. Gun audio is pretty chalked. It doesn't sound good and it doesn't track very well. Oh, does the uh, crossed out F mean it's been looted? Gotcha. And that's not even livable. This is great. Got my eyes peeled for duffel bags, and I guess certain ones you can't actually loot. It's a nice sound, isn't it? Yeah, performance is not great. Uh, I need to go this way. I don't understand. How am I, how am I supposed to get to my objective? If all the roads to get there are closed. Maybe I go into the park. Somehow. Feels a lot like, like the division in that regard. There's a lot of, like, once you're in the dark zone, you feel like there's just walls between you and where you want to go. Oh, yeah, performance is not great. Salmon is a problem as well. Just exasperate all the time. Okay. Since I can't go in there, I'm going to head this way and see if I can get into the park. Oh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I have to drop settings even more, guys. I'll put on frame generation. I don't want that to crash the game. <laughs> Not even that's helped. Okay, yeah, so I need to go this way. Oh, I feel like it's worse, man. New Fortune State. Yeah, so we've got to use the park to then... Holy crap, dude. The stutters are crazy. Turn frame generation off, because that's just AI frames. It's not going to fix the stutters. 
Reflexes on. Image scaling. Let's turn off. Shadows were low by default, so maybe they intentionally put that on low because it, it's a killer of FPS. We'll see how that goes. The stutter before. There you go. I mean, at least it's launched in early access. There's a body there. So that fills me with hope. It's not a body, it's an actual zombie. Pretending to be dead. Finally some action. <sighs> God. It's on the edge of my seat. That was so intense, guys. Really laughed though we took three headshots. And then... Died three seconds later. Then again, I've got to remember the only way that I was able to even get into a server was by queuing in Asia, so... These are technically Asian servers. This might even be actual server lag. Maybe the, uh... EU and American ones are available now. Loot the body? Oh, hang on. Just had to tab out and skip ads because YouTube was about to run a bunch of ads and... I don't want them to play now when we actually have some combat. What is a zombie going to have on him? Didn't even think to loot him. What happened there was I looted him and then couldn't move. Couldn't control my character at all until I pressed tab and kept running. <laughs> Marcus, thanks for the five. When the zombie apocalypse happens in the UK, we're screwed because there's no guns. I don't want to think about that. Well, I'll say this, I'm glad I decided to stream this instead of playing offline and recording it. <laughs> Getting close to our objective, though. I've seen one zombie this entire time that we've been playing. Remind, remind me how the entirety of humanity was wiped off the face of the Earth? With a zero threat? It feels like a game where, like, assets have just been randomly plonked around, doesn't it? What's this? Huh? You can only press one key one time. Okay. Can't do any of this. I would like a first person camera. There's just nothing to loot, man. Didn't I kill you earlier? Nice. 
Why is that going off? There must be like a code in this house that I can find to disable that. Because that's, I guess that draws attention to show that there's a player in the building. This was my exact concern when I saw the trailer for this game. There's just no loot anywhere and you... Everything feels so half-baked. These assets are just... They definitely feel store-bought, you know? Not much, like, developer crafting has gone into it. Is that a player or a zombie? Zombie. But it's walking in place. Do you guys see that? Very weird. The alarm stopped, at least. You have to press the warn keys. That's the code. Oh, it'd be nice if I could interact with it again, wouldn't it? <laughs> you see, yeah, I have Stod. Yeah, chat, chat for me. Wasn't the most obvious thing. Starters got so bad once we got here. Game clearly doesn't like the open environment segments. I feel like maybe it's a uh, draw distance issue because everything is rendered at max view distance. At least bush camping isn't that, like, effective. Position that could be mutually beneficial. I hate that I have to keep doing this too, just to know how close I am. Like that should just be I can just press M and see like a Warzone style map on my screen. It's too slow to bring it up to the point where it's oh my god, look at that. It's like impossible to just quickly tap something and see what direction I need to go. There's no compass to show me uh exact direction to run. Well, stamina is a problem, man. I feel like I can only take 10 steps before I'm jogging like this again. The character needs to hit the gym more. Such a running simulator as well. Give me a bicycle at least. <laughs> okay, so it's in this area. Wait for stamina. Forgot what he even wanted me to do for him now. Find the required items for Woodbury. Was journal, right? Um, make sure the water supply at Webbery is uninterrupted. Find plumbing kit, soldering kit, and sealant. In this area. Can't do that. Counts as sealant. You need to drink water for stamina and stuff? Okay. Did you notice the DMZ extraction symbol, Sod? It was clearly yoinked. Energy. Same amount. Oh no. 
Okay, this is just no animation for that, like there is the water. Plumbing kit, soldering kit, sealant. Right, player, player, player. Realistic gunplay, guys. Remember that trailer we watched? <laughs> Certainly one of the games of all time. steps. It's just the wind blowing on certain curtains and stuff. There we go. We have a backpack finally. Cool. I like I want all my ammo in there. Maybe not actually. I want to do this. But I can't do that. So I guess I'll die. That's the sealant I need for the mission. Water filter. That's my buddy. You're doing good. Mine assisting me with one deal. Shut up busy. Soldering kit and plumbing kit. Alright, so just got to loot stuff. What is this, DMZ? They're actual DMZ missions. Yo, man, I need to brush my teeth. Can you find me some toothpaste? I don't like this constantly swaying crosshair. He actually got a hit on me. Are you kidding? use it. You can't rotate items either. You actually can't rotate stuff. So I can't put it. Why can't I only drop it? I don't understand, man. No vaulting? And that kills your stamina too. How about ladders? No. No ladder climbing. Can't search that search this vehicle. Oh, I was in a looting menu so I couldn't heal. Nice. Good comms. Oh, I have full health. So why did it let me use it? I thought I took damage because I had blood on my screen. Maybe it was just like... Peripheral blood because I killed a zombie up close so the blood splattered on my screen. I don't know, man. It might actually be better off to extract with what I got. I don't even know if this is like a persistent server or if it ends at some point. I don't like that there's no vaulting though. That sucks. Got the ceiling. I need the soldering kit and the plumbing kit, but I've just got to literally find it in 
cars and boxes with the worst stutter imaginable, man. That was certainly a waste, yeah. I read the game as, oh no, I've been damaged by the zombie. Alright, I need to eat those beans. I need to just be proper British lad and eat the beans so I have some more stamina. Because this is awful. I'm in the right proximity, right? Yeah. So anywhere here I can find the stuff I need. Oh, I'm inside my guy's beard. Don't need the nail polish. God. See, so I can... <laughs> I can loot this. Plumbing kit. Holy crap, it's massive, dude. Um, I'm just going to consume this for the... Wait. That's junk. I should be able to still use that when I'm in a looting inventory. Refund the game where you can. Nah, I'll take the hit for you guys. I, I play some of these games, so you don't have to. <laughs> I feel like I've surpassed the two-hour refund window alone by uh, sitting in queues anyway, so... I'm just glad I decided to stream it today. Okay. Last thing I need is the soldering kit. Oh boy. How precise. Yes. I can't believe how precise you need to be to How am I gonna do this? Fet all my loot around. Right. Nearest extract. Nope. If I do that, if I accidentally misclick and bring up the wrong version of the tablet, there should be a menu here where I can just go, like, scroll to, to view my missions or press a toggle. Not do this. Oh, wait, I can. I'm, I'm an idiot. Bottom right, it says journal and map, and I can just do that instead of bringing out the tablet for each individual thing. It's not the, not the clearest, though, is it? Right, we've got all this. Nearest extract is to my right. Easy extract. Let's get the hell out of here. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to try and get in, like, an EU or NA server after this. I assume it's, like, persistent and we'll save my loot. Hopefully. Oh, my God, the game actually looks nice. It's funny, all it takes is a sun flare to really get me going. Need the water filter for another mission. Are you, f Are you kidding me? Are you joking me right now? Can't like scroll missions, future missions. Technically, I've only accepted one. What can I get rid of? There's a zombie moaning down there. Uh, what was it? A two slot, right? So let's... That's junk. Drop that. Then... Eat that for hydration. Move this out. Put that there. Go back for my filter for future missions. Huzzah! Uh, Ryan, thanks for the 10, bud. Robots games are starting to look really advanced. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy what you can build in Roblox now. Did you ever see that Call of Duty game? 
compared to this game, Roblox is the most advanced game I've ever played. Did I, dr did I drop the water filter or did I put it in a box? No, oh, I, I put it in here. Alright, let's go. Well, back to seven days to die for me. Flat says. Yeah, it is a bit of an extraction shooter right now, Flat. It's basically, I'm in the Division Dark Zone. Um, it's not really an open world game. waste any more ammo than I need to. But the, the, the zombies drop like... Two seconds too late. Three headshots. Yeah, that, I wasted another bullet there. Hate that there's no vaulting, man. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Oh, a hoodie. No, I actually prefer my jacket, man. Blends in the shadows better. Make sure I'm clear. I'm making a lot of noise. Didn't search this before, did I? Nothing in it. Um. So I... I dragged that out of my inventory, and I presume... Okay, yeah, it was put into this bag. Why was it not there the first time? I don't know. Now I'm naked. Now I'm naked, and I dragged it onto my inventory, and it didn't apply. Let's go. Make sure I'm in the right place. Map. The shot's near my extraction, which isn't very promising. Oh. The game really doesn't like these wooded areas. Who needs frames, you know? It's impossible to tell what range that is. There he is. Oh no. I killed too many zombies and didn't reload. What a mug. Forgot I ever got, got like a 20 round mag. Actually a wasted opportunity there. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot, dude. I could have reloaded so long ago and he literally shot me through a tree like it didn't exist. It's fine. I actually, it's funny how much I don't care. <laughs> it's actually funny how much I don't care. I want to try a uh, EU or NA server. Through a tree, yeah. That sucks. Literally couldn't even use cover. Does anything work in the game? That was on me, though. I fired two bullets at a guy. Missed both bullets. Didn't reload after killing all those zombies because I got too focused on trying to switch, for it. switch to a jacket so I could blend in better. Can you tell me about your That's really bad though, the fact that I can just get killed through a tree like that. He closed the gap on me too, uh, pushed me because he had a shotgun, which was um, obviously very beneficial to him. Yeah, so I'm going to try. Let me leave this uh, server, see if 
take care of I mean, this is a gamble in itself. I want to see if it, um, if it persists and continues where I left off. Yeah, if you didn't know, I was playing on an Asian server there. So there was going to be some lag anyway, but it was the only ones I could get into. If it doesn't feel good to play, no, for the people who are asking, gunplay feels horrible. Um, yeah, that, that center crosshair like moves around all the time. It's exactly what I expected. Just feels like a, like a combination of assets thrown together. I'm still not even in the main menu. I can't even quit a game effectively. I'll give you my uh, logo to look at for the time being. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see if any uh, EU servers are running. Oh yeah, see this is the problem. All of the servers are full and they don't like spool up any new servers. So the only ones I've been able to connect to are NA and Asia. And it's just a gamble whether you're even going to get in or not. PUBG music? Yeah, it's very PUBG, isn't it? Da -da 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 -da. I'd really like to get in an EU server. Please, game. Maybe they're just placeholders. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, store-bought assets in this game. The ambulances and stuff. Why release a placeholder? To make money from the hype of the trailer as soon as possible. Sell you a lie. Show you snippets of gameplay. If you watch the trailers, they only ever show, like, this is a walking animation. This is a aiming down sight animation. I mean, it's just comical, that trailer we saw before. This part of the trailer, or is it? Ready for this realistic gunplay, guys. Listen, to ensure that combat... Re the weapons, which can be modified, are made with maximum realism. Maximum to ensure realism, that guys. combat remains deep and engaging at all times. Maximum realism. Each weapon boasts unique characteristics. <sighs> Look at this as maximum well as realism. Realistic reload and realistic recoil recall, mechanics. guys. Ready for this realistic recall? Means deep, unique, as with characteristics. <sighs> realistic. As well as realistic characteristics. Spam firing as well an M1 as grand reload, like it's nothing. Unique. Let's start by saying, I understand this is an early access game and there can be a lot of problems when you start. Outside of server issues, because the game is new, every time I would load in the game, I would load into a spot I could not get out of. I had to eventually start a new build, start the game correctly. This is not an open world MMO. This is a small area extraction shooter. The devs deleted all the old videos showing the open world elements. Yes, they did. I forgot about that. Anything that they showed that made the game look like it was... Uh... Let me turn the music down. This is still ridiculously loud. Did it even change... Music is too epic for the game. Thank you. Shut up. Seems like the game still isn't released. Lamau, not an MMO, not open world. Lying about the genre is a bad start. It's a bad Tarkov with zombies. Funny how the game is called The Day Before. The dev team always has huge issue The Day Before. This is a scam. As the entire internet expected. It's always going to be a bad release for the game. Day before refund scam, yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't save. There we go. Let's apply it. My bad. 
was ridiculously loud. Shouting over the music. Oh my god, stop fading to black and giving me hope. I don't want to play on Asian servers, man. This is terrible. How are they not expanding? Hang on, let me, let me check. Steam. Community hub. It's 30,000 people in game. And I bet they're all like... A good 25,000 people are sat here just doing what I'm doing. I have 20 minutes left to refund it. Is that what you said? I don't, I don't want to do that. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up covering the game again at some point, right? Uh, yeah, 1.7 hours on record. If you get the game now, it's cheaper than when it eventually releases. We might have like a daisy situation on our hands here where launch, launch is terrible and then gets better over time, but I don't see it. There's just no redeeming qualities. I'm going to play for a bit, though, so, you know, you guys can fully see the uh, every aspect of the game. Hopefully we'll have a better experience now. We've actually got in on an EU server, so that's huge. Playing on um, Asian servers there was rough. Getting shot around corners and zombies were dying like three seconds late. Have you checked your internet connection yet? Yeah, no, my internet's fine. It's not the internet, I was just playing on um, Asian servers there. It's the only ones I could get into. Again, the issue is, is that they only have like 20 possible servers on NA, EU, and Asia. So there's a list of 20. So everyone in the entire, like everyone trying to play this game right now is trying to get into one of those 20 servers in their region. You can't just, like, press quick play and the game spools up a new server for you to play in. This is it, right? Like, you either play Waiting Simulator to play the game. It did spawn me where I, where I left off, so I do... I would have kept the stuff I had had I not died, but... You knew how amazing the corn was on our farm. Hey, you're looking good. Oh, you. Your belongings will be safe and safe. Great. Nothing left there. Yeah, I'm just going to go on a... Um... A loot run. Going to buy a pistol. See what we can come out with. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Is that a reference to the meme? Uh, let me make sure I'm caught up with everyone. You guys have been cr going crazy tonight. Um, Tomo, thanks for saving me my money by playing this. Thanks for the two, John. You spent some money to say I that. I appreciate it. <laughs> Choose what you want. And Martiz, thanks for the 26 months, brother. Appreciate it. Still waiting on you to do an audiobook. Stop it, man. Stop it. Okay, so we can buy a pistol. We'll go with the, the Bell 19, which is a Glock. And the ammo for that is 9 mil. Since I don't have that gun, I'm going to sell him the ammo. Keep this. Can I not sell him the ammo? Yes. Just have to do that. Okay. And then... Wait for the lag. Seventy rounds, that should be fine. I thought I bought seventy. Oh I did. Just took a while. Okay. Good luck. Until we meet again. And go back to storage. Put that filter in there for now. Off on another run, huh? Have it's such a nice day today, isn't it? No. Your belongings will be safe and sound. Come again. Oh, I will. 
Goodbye. Right then. Back into the fray. <laughs> I can't believe the end of that extraction. I was so close. Fired two bullets at a guy. Let him push up because I failed to reload. It's just classic, isn't it? I was, I was so checked out, though, by the end of that run. Because by then I felt like I got complete experience. And I'm not even kidding. Like, you know when you play a game and there's no, like, there's no auto run key. Like, my, my pinky was hurting from pressing shift constantly. Always running out of stamina. Always running. The there's zone. no vehicles. As much valuable loot as possible and return to Whitberry. Can't even ride one of those bikes that I can see. Okay, 17 rounds in a mag. Holy crap. Yeah, they're all... They're not even locked up. The chains are perfectly functional. The tires are... Well, that tire's off, but... <laughs> Okay, is my objective still the same? Let's do a different one. Um, it'll give me a thousand. Insulin. Yeah, let's just do this first. Perfect. Right down this road. just feels like they've really tried to, like, completely copy the aesthetic of the division. And in the initial trailers we saw, it actually looked better, but now that the game's out... I know I lowered my settings, but even when we were on the max graphics, I just didn't look much better than this. Deeper shadows, maybe. Didn't look like the gamma was cranked so high, but... It's early access, wink. Dude, it's also a 30... Five pound forty dollar early access that has been promoted as something that it isn't. It's not open world and it's not an MMO. Although you did put a winky face at the end of your message, so uh, maybe you were saying that sarcastically. <laughs> You know, like, I, I own the Division, 1 and 2. I haven't played those games in ages. But if you're going to give me the option to play one out of two of those games, I'm going to choose the Division over that, because the PvP, even though it takes a while to kill some people, uh, I guess you could turn off the... There is, like, a version of the Division in Division 2 where I don't think it, you need gear stats in order to perform well. Um, you just go in with, like, bare-bones bare guns and perform adequately. I would always choose to play the division over this. Again, I know this is early access, but early access games always show you an insight of the direction of the the quality and the rest of the game. I feel at this point we're only ever going to see this game like slowly improve um, the fundamentals, but never expand into what the game initially um, was like advertised as. The reason why everyone thought it was fake, because we were like, whoa, this is too good to be true. And now that it's out, it's nothing like what those trailers advertised. So, from my perspective, and I think the rest of the internet, they've gone... Well... The developers have obviously seen how well the first initial trailer had, had done, and how much interest there was in that idea. That they were like, crap. Now we actually have to make the game now. Because the trailer was made up of what the uh, gaming industry would call a vertical slice, where the developers make... Like, say they've made this strip of uh, road, for instance. This is the only part they made. Uh, playable. And they wouldn't have made, like, an, a full map. So, obviously, when you've got a smaller area like that, you can crank the graphics and visual fidelity 
reflections, um, fog, ambience, all that sort of stuff. You can crank that to the maximum because it's a vertical slice. It's not the full experience. And now that they've made the full experience based on that initial idea, this is just not accurate. I have to ADS. Now that they've made that full experience, and they've tried to get as close to that initial idea that they were never going to be able to meet, it's not anywhere near what we were expecting it to be. Knock off Amazon. Okay, it should be in the vicinity of where I need to... Down this road. Yeah, I was looking at the Steam reviews a second ago, Reaper. Yeah, a lot of people are saying the same thing. You know, it's a scam and all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't call anything a scam once you've... I, I don't know. I kind of knew I was getting scammed when I bought the game. So, <laughs> I can't even be mad at it. I will say it's... 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 It's better than I expected in the sense that, wow, they actually did put something together based on... You know, it feels like this game's been made in about a year since the, we saw it, first saw, saw the trailers compared to what it is now. They've scrapped together a bunch of different assets and um, stitched together a full... You know, there's, a, there's an experience to be had here. It's just mid. Below average. I already know what the experience is. I already feel like I know 90% of the gameplay loop. I don't think there's much left for the game to teach us. Missions aren't going to get any more interesting. There's not going to be any bosses. It's a weird one. I don't like how I can only interact with some stuff, like when I find the perfect angle. To use the, uh, the keys that have like faded away. Okay, I guess I failed. See, I actually can't re interact with it. I think it's like a three strikes you're out thing. You just have to guess the code. We had five years to develop a game. Yeah, apparently it took them five years to develop this. I feel like it's more like five years to come up with the concepts and release that. I'll, I'll show you the trailer after we're done. I'll show you that first trailer again and we'll compare side by side. It's actually crazy. If you really want to find out, then you can search it up now. Just uh, search like day, the, like day, the day before reveal trailer. And then come back and, uh, <laughs> tell me what you think. Code is 6969. Yeah, I tried that earlier. You can't press the same key twice. Holy man. A zombie, thought it was like a player crouching around. So scam or no scam? It's not a scam because it's a playable game. It is a scam in terms of it's not at all the game we hoped it would be. The reason why the internet was so caught up on this game because it was like, oh damn, they're actually making a game beyond our wildest dreams. Like we really want this game. It's everything we love, like combined. Uh, and then they then they released it. This is what we're working with. The gun sounds good. Uh, it's not like they recorded it though, is it? It'll just be like a, another asset bought thing. Like a store bought. A lot of the assets in this game, if you don't know, have been uh, bought off like the... I forget what you call it. The Unreal Engine store, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if we get it right. Stri three strikes, you're out. Can 
can only press the numbers once. empty. Yeah, it feels very lifeless. Like, for a game that boasts having PvP and PvE, I run, a, I run around for way too long before finding anything to shoot at. I really hate the looting, man. It takes so long for that prompt to come up. There we go, got a backpack. Have to find, like, the perfect angle to access the thing you're trying to open. Inhaler and anti convulsant. I think the correct numbers don't flash when you input them. I see. It flashes the digits you got correct. Right on the screen. Okay. Yeah, I did, I did see that out of the corner of my eye. I was focused on the keys, but I'll try that next time. Ask ChatGPT for the code possibilities. I could imagine. Ah, yes. The day before. We're familiar with this game. Ah, this is where my stuff's gonna be, isn't it? Things I need to loot. No, nope, because it's locked. Oh, it's a workbench. The loot is so massive. Like I can only access certain things. Yeah, it's so poorly optimized, dude. Can't open this. Just a guessing game for me right now as to like knowing what I can and can't loot because there's no like indicator prior to me approaching the object to show that I could loot it, maybe. Like, like, now that I'm here, that's great, but I have to walk all the way up here before I see the prompt, you know what I mean? There are buttons that look faded out from you. So yeah, those are the ones I'm pressing, lad. I figured that part out, um, on the keypad. Like, the numbers that have faded away are going to be the ones that you can... the right ones to press. Some doors I can open as well, but some others I can't. So, like, fiddly. Nothing in there. I'll have to loot in this vicinity, too. To find my mission items, but... Yeah, the alarm goes off because... It's to alert... Like, obviously, you've got it wrong, so... It's to alert other players of your location. If I heard that, then I'd know that there's a player nearby. You see what I mean? How janky that is. Give me my actual loot, man. Yes. Silver ring. Turns out it was all here. Oh, right, light bulb. I checked these, didn't I? Oh, inhaler. Is that all of my mission items? Yes. I just turned on a light somehow. No, it's not T. It's not B. It's not N. It's not J. It's not L. I 
want a light on the whole time. It's also Joel's, like, shoulder light he has in The Last of Us. Oh, brother. It's H. It's H. Thank you, Stod. I mean, the voice in my head. It's wearing on me, Stod. It, it looks pro like I said to you. I said first hour went like the you know they're trying to show you all the features in that little like tutorial area, and you get a false hope of what it's about to be. And then you enter the enter the city, you're like oh damn, here we go, it's opening up. And then you then you shoot a gun once, and you're like oh dear. Visually though, stunning. <laughs> huh? Go back and stunning. go back and watch the launch trailers, dude. Oh, you mean you mean in comparison to the Lord's Gate? Oh, yeah, okay. It's it's a it's a full uh, Watch Dogs. It's insane what they. I'm just gonna show it now. <laughs> yeah, so we can have the the comparison. I keep talking about it. I've got to. Just, I've just got to just prove it at this point. Um, make sure I don't show anything I'm not supposed to. Who? <laughs> Day before launch trailer. trailer. Not six months ago, two years ago. All right, here we go. Here. Winter is coming. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game. It's compressed on IGN. Features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world. I'm actually, just gonna check if I can find the original. Well, I mean, clearly this was a very staged cinematic trailer that was completely false. To they've the they've deleted their launch trailer. Mm. They've actually deleted their launch trailer. Oh no. Shall we sp Also. What was that the other trailer? Shall we split up? They're doing the division yep. E3 I'll trailer. In the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. Look at this, dude. They they paid for a um they paid for a what's it called? A New Let's York. Let's see what we have here. They all for right, all right, all right, all well. right. I have found a great cowboy hat. Look Jeller at this, right. man. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Yeah, I can't believe they deleted the launch trailer, man. That's insane. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. I mean, I mean, you get the, you get the prompts here. I got a message. I mean, Tom, I didn't see the difference between this and the gameplay you just played. Look at this. Look at the lighting inside. Hang on. Okay, well, I don't want a copyright strike, please. Is not all players are friendly. Wow, a full squad of three men roaming around. Get out of here. Let's check it out. Absolutely. Oh, shit. I've got company. Could use some help now. Yeah. See, now they're trying to, like, show it like it's The Last of Us. Things are about to get heated. This is Last of Us gameplay. It doesn't even look like this in game. It's even got the Last of Us reticle that like blinks. There's no destruction like this. Because when people first saw this, they were like, "No way! This is being made by like an indie studio. Like this isn't AAA. Like finally, this is a game we want. Like this looks sick. This is too Dude, good to be true." Many of them. I, I gotta go upstairs. Okay, I'm running toward you. There's no, there's no shoulder dash right now, door thing like that. Temperature is falling fast. Temperature is falling fast. Remember that when you shoot and make unnecessary noise, it can attract unwanted guests even more oh. terrifying. The snow than building players. up on the backpack, the coat, the hat. The world of the day before is, is a scam. Hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected. Ready to tear you to pieces. Wow, look at the hordes, guys. 
I've only seen one zombie at a time. It seems he dodged a bullet. Oh, now, nice. he's crafting yeah, a bandage a so he doesn't <laughs> die from bleeding. Hey, are you upstairs already? They were just talking about the temperature falling, so like... See? Everyone thought this was going to be the game. There's no, there's no scenario like this. Well, you know... Look at this, stud. What, what, about, what about in three years' time? Yeah, he did vault as well, chat. You can't vault in the game, but you can vault in this trailer, in this vertical Where slice they made. Where are you? There's no VoIP, so there's no, like, instance where you'd have this conversation with a friend and not hear him because you're out of range. Yeah, that's weird. Ultimately, we'd be in a Discord call with each other and be like, where are you? And you'd be like, I'm dead. No, I, no, I got, I got like... caught, I got caught in, an, in the elevator door that you closed. It would be like Lethal Company, dude. They'd have a... <laughs> that was his friend. What the? What the? And here we are. In the game. Let me just vault this. I'm having a hard time vaulting right now, guys. <laughs> you, should, you, should find the, you should find the exact spot that he's standing in. Let me go. These clips and then just like, um, let, let me go bash. Through. Let me go bash a door real quick. Ah! And then play the play the kazoo version of the music. This is the new reticle, and it shakes around violently, so you're never accurate in third-person aim. You see that? It's lovely. Yeah, yeah. We love that. Love some inertia before I've even fired a shot. We just vault in the back of this truck. That's what I'm saying. Looks looks the same to me. It's not our oh, Tomo. It's not Christmas yet. They haven't put the oh, Christmas lights up yet. That's it. That's if there were why. lights, if there were lights. Yes. Where's my nearest extraction? It's it's just not Christmas yet. The zombies haven't put the Christmas I'm, decorations up. My bad, up. dude. My bad. So I've got the same extraction at the very top of the map that I used before. And there's none in the inner city. So every time you have to make your way north, and there's no compass to tell you that. Okay, that's gonna be my best one. So, so you've got a long run. I need to go back down the street. It's very running simulator, and I really want a key that just lets me run continuously. You can't even put on toggle sprint. So I have to hold it the whole time. Oh my god. Can you show us how to, how to uninstall? Yeah, chat. So basically, we do bring up Steam. Oh, you, 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 you're doing right now? Nah. And you go to your library, right? And then you click properties and you do this. And then, and then your game crashes. Yeah. <laughs> you can't write it! It's crashed. You, can't, you cannot write it, dude. It's crashed? It's like they knew right as I came out of my refund window. 2.2 hours. I can't... What? what? Okay, no. Oh. Uh, overwhelmingly negative reviews now. Oh, brother. This game stinks. <laughs> I mean, give him another couple of years, guys. We're going to have a Daisy on our another hands. Another five years, we? guys. We'll be Daisy level. Just remember, Leo. guys. It's early access, okay? We might have bought a game that we didn't... Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Did you see the uh, the trailer I showed earlier, Stod, where they talk about the realistic gunplay and stuff? No. Yeah. Look they, at this. They did that? Look at this. Look at these. Um, right here. Ready for this? Wait, I'm trying to... How do you make it so it goes... Watch the stream. There you go there. I'm watching. I've made it go forward as fast as possible. Each Five. weapon boasts unique characteristics. <laughs> as well as realistic reload and recoil mechanics are made with max. The weapons, which can be modified, are made with maximum realism to ensure that combat remains deep and engaging at all times. You see that maximum realism? Each though? weapon boasts unique characteristics as well as realistic reload and recoil mechanics. Recoil. I love recoil. Completing various community tasks. It's unreal, man. Unreal Engine. It's 
Let's play again, guys. I can't wait. Let's go. Oh, um, well, you know my character is now stuck in a room and I can't do anything. Is that where you l left? Yeah, I'm. I'm. My character's gone. <laughs> my character. So, so basically, it kicked me out of the game. Huh? Like, once I got. In, I got into the city. The game crashed. Right. And now I am in the doctor's room, and he won't let me out. Oh no! Like it. So I you, were, you were forced to end your stream. Yeah. Well, I. I, <laughs> I literally. I'm just in a room, and I, oh I can't my God. leave the door, and I can't do anything. I think the only thing I can do is basically delete a character and start again. I love. I was like. Yeah, let me show you to uninstall. The game's just like, no, you're going to talk <sighs> shit, get out. <laughs> and you just hit over two hours, Tom. Oh. We've got other people to fill your slot in this server. Mm. How long is it going to take me to join one now? Uh... Also, this, um, this gate is ripped straight out of the division. The main menu. Oh, dude, what about the, the, the way you get to the dark zone? Sorry, the city? Uh, literally the exact same like light bars as you enter into the dark zone. I'll that? show you. I'll show you what I mean. Look at this video I posted. Buying the container. Look at this. Four years ago. Oh look, it's the exact same gate in the intro. Alright. Oh, I can't actually go. I can't. Same. I can't go back. Can't go back to the actual main screen because I clicked. You're telling me that's not the same is gate. That is that it? Do not despair. It's the same gate. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. It's the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. But the hate of men will come and pass have and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, <laughs> liberty will never perish. You don't think that's the same gate? I don't know. I'll see again. I can't remember now. We're going to lose that. For those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. Hang on. Close the game and relaunch, so I'm in the menu. Wait, 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 wait. Enter the checkpoint. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. And then, oh, you, you literally change the... You, when he opens the door, he goes through the little dark zone thing, and it's got that room with the lights. Like Is that where you got stuck? No, 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 oh. no. The, I'm in the doctor's room. The one where you spawn in. I'm just stuck. Oh, there. right, yeah. There's no, uh, I didn't think that door was a prompt for you to, like, interact with, yeah, though. Yeah, I thought it was just open. No, no, because remember, you leave that room and then the doctor respawns in the main area. So I'm right. back in the tutorial room with okay. no tutorial, and so there's no way of getting out. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, it's over for me, uh, unless I restart again. So, no matter what server you connect to, you're not going to get out of it. Unless you delete your cache and yeah, like all that to, stuff. To, no, I'm going to have to delete my character and just make a new one. That's the mm. only way. I don't think... It's over. It's yeah. over. So, let's see this, um... so here's, here's the gate in the game. Mm. And then here's the gate in the Division 2. Game. Well, remember, remember that you're like an attend. Division 2. Yeah, I know. Okay, gate. It is a game. I mean... It's certainly one of the games. Certainly is very similar. Are you gonna try and get into another server? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, you might have the same problem I have, which you might you might end up in the tutorial room. Let's find out. Tell me you didn't pay money for this. I did one man show. I did. Sometimes I buy games so you don't have to. That's why I post variety stuff, because I can oh, just did, like did, did you get into a European server in the end? I did, yeah. The, the one I was just in was European. I just can't believe that they, they're not spooling up more servers. It feels like there must be like 25,000 people just in in the lobby trying to get in or clicking. Yes. Yeah, literally. 
One, two, okay, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so I think we're going 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, there's like 55, 60 servers total on each of the three yeah, which, regions. Which, which makes, which and makes sense, I all think of them are full and cannot be accessed. You think the server stability would be ruined if, uh, if you couldn't get in? Yeah. Well, at least you can transfer your character between servers, at least. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought it was like locked to a server. Which no, that, that is good. I mean, that that's the the bare minimum, but that is good. Because now that we know what the game is, it's an extraction shooter. Mm. You're not going to spend any time in your hideout place. You're not going to spend any time in the social area aside from buying stuff from traders. The entire experience is the Dark Zone experience, which I can have in the Division and more so in the, like... Well, it is an open world until so you get to the actual Dark Zone. The, the quote-unquote MMO open world part of this game is just the Dark Zone, and it's not open world because 90% of the buildings you can't get into. Loads of paths are closed off. There's no, like, player freedom in that regard. It's just walls everywhere. So, strangely, um, Sacrio actually likes it. But I'll tell you why. It's because if you're used to the scuff of DayZ... Oh, yeah. You're like, well, actually... It's a simpler version. But uh, will Sacrio be playing this tomorrow? I think so. For a little bit. I mean, he's actually not had as many issues as we have. I wouldn't say I've had issues. I've had some stutter, but, like, it's not a problem with the... No. It's, it, it is just what the whole experience is. I've experienced 90% of the... What it boils down to. Yeah. <sighs> Anyone know if I mean, there's a there's many combat? I saw a knife in it. Yeah, yeah. I think... I'm assuming you can fight with melee. Because I didn't have a weapon before. I didn't actually try punching, but... Try and watch, uh, the Game of the Year. Oh, sorry. Game Awards. Yeah, I think Game so. Awards. Is it like... Half past midnight, right? UK? Okay. It starts at half past midnight, yeah. Okay. Mm. Really should just be a quick play. So where you don't have to guess. Typically in a game like this, it would show you a, a tally, like... 80 players out of 100, for instance. Apparently, it's 32 player lobbies. So. 32? Yeah. So it's 30,000 players trying to, trying get, to get into a total of 100. Servers. Yeah, yeah. And so, wait, hang on. Let me do the maths on this one real quick. There is no melee. Okay. There's no melee in this game. Yes, yes. That was another thing that was very funny. You ready? 180 times 32. Um, True. Thanks for the 10, man. I appreciate that. And, uh, well, your message was mid-game. I agree. Uh, Tua, thanks for the... Well, you became a member, then you gifted five memberships. Thank you, bud. Sorry it's a bit a bit late to that. Appreciate you. Sorry, I went deaf instead of mutant. Um, 6,000 players total on 180 servers if there's 32 players max. So there's 6,000 people playing, like, acti actively, actively in the game. Yeah, that's what well, I mean. So there's... If, that, if that is the total plot of the server count, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it. Have you? I've run into like one player every. Wow, I, I, I run into a two man. Ten minutes. Two man. Yeah. I, I really want us to man. get in a game together, but it just seems impossible. Well, I'd have to redo the tutorial again, so it's over. Yeah, but on on this screen, I should have invite friends. You are in my lobby next to me. Then I click a server, and even if. Yeah, I know, but. It's, it's... It's not ready, is it? It's not ready in the slightest. I just don't think they should show that sort of thing in trailers where they do like, they, they, they demonstrate the co-op aspect. Imagine the people who are like, come on lads, day one, let's play some... I mean, it's fine for us because we're content creators. Mm -hmm. The average player, which is likely like majority of people just tuning yeah, into streams to see if it's worth hours. even buying. I just hope to God like... Yeah, spend two hours trying to get into the server, then can't refund. Yeah. And they lose 40 quid just before Christmas. Yeah, in that in that case, it is a scam. 
And I don't know what the performance is like for anyone without a 4090. Oh, DL. Yeah. God, I'm actually getting sick of the music. Settings, I mean, audio, no. off. Every time you... Yeah, it restarts the track. Meanwhile, LEGO Fortnite is uh, popping off. I'll probably play that tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, every every game under the sun has decided to launch this mm -hmm. week, it feels like. I know of uh, at least two or three more. Oh, well. I yeah. can't, you know, I can't say any more than that, but two or three. What do you know, oh, Stod? I know a lot of things. Huh. I don't know why they released this game. <laughs> I'm kind of glad it's not good because it means it's one last one game I don't one have to like. Game. Yeah. I was like, saying to chat when I started, just... I was like, typically I don't do this. I would record, I would do this aspect off stream, but the, the interest around whether or not it's a real game or not led me to believe that it was going to launch exactly like this. So I'm glad that I'm not sat here just on my own without chat just staring at a screen trying to get into servers and not being able to like make the content I want to make. Yeah. At least people are getting like actual raw first impressions this way and I'm not making a 20 minute video explaining what I've been through. They can actually see it. Yeah. And it would have taken a bloody long time because you'd have to be like, right. Yeah. So I'm in an Asian server, first of all. I really don't want to join an Asian server again, but it's looking like it's the only option for me, so... Yeah, but even then, I I couldn't even get in when I was trying to get in earlier, but if you can... Oh, instantly. What, in? Yep. There it is. Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. That is a quote Crazy. in the menu of the, like, in the loading screen. Mm. You know, like well, you, when you die in COD and it shows you a quote. Thousands what, 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 of candles can be lighted. Lighted. Littered. What about, what about the, uh, the line which is like, go and tell the captain that you're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, go and tell the captain that you're conscious again. Yes. Go and tell him, hello, I am I'm no conscious. longer conscious. <laughs> Color of the lab codes lost its relevance. How do you join games, Sid? You literally just have to pick a server, tell your friend the name of that server, and then click it and hope that you get in. <laughs> just remember, Stod, that thousands of candles can be lighted from the same candle. I mean, and that's true of real life. So if anything, if that's a realism feature. Oh, so you actually spawned back in here. You know what punishment criminals you, get here? See, I, when I crashed, that was Freedom. it. Back in the doctor's Funny, office. Ruined. What? Okay, at least I kept my stuff when I crashed. Yes, yeah, same, same here. So you're like you stuck in a room there? down here somewhere. I'm stuck uh, in the... Maybe the I did, version. yeah. Sometimes you miss Hey, good luck to you. Nice. Oh, boy. Weapons, ammunition. <laughs> Let's take a look. Um, Jesus Christ, the lag when you're in these menus too. When it like loads. See, I, don't have, I don't have the lag that you have. That's one thing. When you my, bring my up game. the traders and stuff. No, it feels good. Mm. Like, like I have, I have like no stuttering whatsoever. It's weird. Like 150 FPS, weirdly. I did install the latest drivers. I don't know if you have them. No, I don't. Yeah, so I installed the latest drivers and Warzone was a bit weird for me yesterday as well. I assume this isn't a mission item I need. This was, wait, yeah. Okay, I bought it back, good. Insulin, I need these for missions. Don't need any of that. Cool. You're telling me, you don't even need to expo, you just Enjoy need to get it, buddy. Just hold then crash. Yeah. Maybe all four works. That's a, good, you, uh, that's a good strat. Uh, who was this mission for? For the doctor, right? Just check journal still. Yeah. No, I haven't rest messed with my resizable. Hey man, come to the gym to work yeah. out. But did you turn off your resizable bar? What the hell's that? Warzone. Oh. oh. That's fine. For Warzone? Yeah, that's what people are saying. What's a resizable bar? Where are you? It's like a bias thing. So oh. don't worry about it. Okay. How are things going? Okay, you did a mission. Yeah, I okay. did a mission. Uh, well, did you Sick. not? 
Did you not complete one? Wonderful. Oh no. Rest assured, <laughs> we'll find no, no, the best no. I crashed way. twice once I got into the game. I only got had one run. Come from the other two I crashed. Right. Well outside as well. I've never seen them Oh, cute. Complete the task. So this is uh let's make four five post-it notes. And they just slap them everywhere. Oh boy. I need a bigger backpack today. Okay. Have you seen my brother, Ricardo? Have you seen my brother, Ricardo? Do you wear wigs? Will you wear wigs? Will you wear wigs? There's a lot of cats missing. Do you wear wigs? Should I buy this right now, Tom? No, Jay. My recommendation to you guys is not to buy this game. Thank you, Stod. And um, I encourage everyone to uh, like the stream. Yes, please do. Um, please do. Please like the stream for the for the sole fact that I bought the game so that you don't have to. What can I do? The more you like the stream, the more it will show more people exactly what this game's like. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Right. See you later. Later, dude. Have a good one. Thanks, man. Oh, there's armor. That's pretty cool. Fifteen thousand though, so you got to play quite a bit to grind for some of that stuff. Some cool weapons. Um, I think I'm just going to go back in with a pistol, though. So... Use that into there. Which I can't do. Does anyone know if money is lost? Because I, I can't store this in the, in, like, the safe pouch. See you again. Unless it's because I'm here. See you, buddy. No. People can't steal my money if I die, right? If it's just in my backpack like that. Seems like time literally healed. Yo, what's up, Abby? It's such a nice day today, isn't it? You say that every time. The storage room is at your service. Okay, so I can store my money. Everything is ready. Take care of yourself. Overwhelmingly negative on Steam, yeah. <clears throat> I think I found my new game of the year. Thirty-three pounds I spent on this game. Forty dollars, I think that works out to. You. you have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. Is this one? So this one doesn't have a range for me, to, like a, a circle for me to search. So I guess I just find those on, on... Oh wait, no, I do. I just clicked track and it didn't track. Cool. Straight down this road then. Pressing track actually untracked it. We love that. <laughs> Looks amazing. Can't wait to play it. Um, if you just tuned in, Paro, honestly, don't. It's not worth it right now. I don't know if it's going to get better, but I, I, I cannot recommend this game in its current state. I cannot recommend this game in its current state. <laughs> If that gunplay looks engaging to you, then go for it, man. Go wild. Go crazy. I think a cover mechanic would have been nice. Like Last of Us. If I did this and there was like some... 
you know, requires key. Okay, that's interesting. First time we've found something like that. What's the first person key bind? Oh, you must be new here. There isn't one. Oh, do you mean when you're ADS'd? So if, if I hold to ADS, I will do this. But as you can see, the crosshair moves around on its own. It's never dead center, so you're always going to be inaccurate. Like, I, I can't fight like this. This is stupid. I don't know why they've done this in a multiplayer game. So I'd recommend you always just tap ADS instead of holding to ADS. Holding does the over shoulder. Tap does first person. But there's no dedicated first person keybind to switch between first and third permanently. You can only play in third person and ADS in first. Oh, hello. And the blue ammo I found is the ammo I need for this. Hunting rifle. Sick. Okay. Uh, which road was it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, no, I appreciate inertia being in first-person mode. But look at that. Look how center that cro- like, where my- my sight is. Why is third-person like this? Look, that's normal holding aim. So I don't know why you do that when you can do that and be 100% accurate. I'm only ever going to use this now when I get in a really close quarter fight or like a zombie's 10 meters in front of me. Straight down this road, right? I hate that I have to keep doing this. I can't just like mount this one. Okay, I have to go through here. Is this less functional division plus Tarkov plus generic zombie game? Yeah. It's uh it's Dark Zone the game. Um, with really bad performance. See what I mean? Like this is actually like pretty difficult to aim because I'm constantly having to do this. A zombie also shouldn't take that many headshots to kill, you know? It's gonna take a fight. I actually don't really care about missions right now. Since we're on the topic, I want to demonstrate some actual gunplay. If I can just like farm loot off people. So every stutter that you guys see is actually my performance. Stott said he wasn't getting them though. So I think it's maybe the latest NVIDIA drivers. Look at this guys. team and they're skeeting around so it doesn't matter where I shoot them they're just on ice in crouch mode <sighs> got one sound effect to describe this game You can't invite friends. No, you can't. Hi, what's new? You can maybe get lucky and play with them. But my concern is that if you do manage to queue into the same server together, um, 
when you leave to enter that dark zone point. I don't think you're gonna. You're obviously not gonna spawn next to each other, are you? The storage is always. Tom, it feels like we're torturing you. No, no, no. I'm torturing myself. You know what punishment criminals get here? There's a good. There's a good like weapons? foundation here to build off. I'll say that. But there's no way like. You can't charge people for this. Don't hesitate. The amount that Take you're charging, you, like. you know. It's crazy. It's actually daylight robbery. Until we meet again. This is gonna be a full price, like full price retail game when it officially launches. But if you buy an early access, you get like I don't know, fifteen, twenty pounds, dollars off. So I bought it for thirty-three pounds, as opposed to the. I think it's actually gonna launch at sixty pounds or seventy dollars, seventy pounds, something like that. Lately, I haven't been. Hello, how can I assist you? I think the full release is gonna be a way off though, based on the overwhelmingly. Like negative reviews on Steam, I, I think they're gonna, you know, for the longest time they've been like combating all of the negative uh, responses from people and saying, no, 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 trust us, trust me, bro. Um, turns out it was a real game. Kind of wish it wasn't. You know, that describes it. No melee in a survival game. Uh, yeah, it kind of makes me feel that they're gonna be like, crap. The people were right. And we knew they were right, but we got their money anyway. What's the average playtime? See, it's not like these people have hopped on for two seconds and then left. This guy did. He played for eight minutes and then quit. But 1.4 hours, 1.4, 1.2. Like, they're obviously playing to a point where they feel like they've... Like, this guy went past the... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, he actually got the refund, though. No, no, it was this one. 2.2 hours, so he can't... Oh, he did refund. Although, uh, maybe he's in, like, the request refund period, and typically on Steam, if you buy a game, you can refund it within two hours of playtime. Uh, yeah, no melee, no melee is weird. But it's not really a quote-unquote survival game, at least wide. Um... What I'd call a survival game. For medication, Can you tell me about your There's like no open world aspect. But yeah, fighting zombies without melee is a bit odd. Can you chat with this person? No. Forty dollars in US, yeah. So it's currently forty dollars in US, and then when it releases full, I think it's gonna be seventy. You're welcome. Done. See you again. See this scar? Scratched by an You can refund if you're beyond that Hazel. point, if there's a good what reason for it. You got a refund for Starfield after 21 hours of playing. Yeah, but I think their refund system is different, right? Like, I don't know if you do it through Steam. Maybe you do, but... We had to put, like, a ticket thing through Bethesda. I remember they wouldn't let you refund Fallout 76. I think that was the case. Actually, just were saying, no, we're not doing refunds. If you bought it, then you were stuck with it. Choose, buddy. For me, though, it's like I was explaining, like, I buy these games so you don't have to. It's part of the reason why I went down this route with a variety of stuff. Like, I can play games and you guys can watch them and enjoy a video that I, like, spend some time putting together. But you don't see the behind-the-scenes stuff where I'm, like, actually getting the footage, like... Try to be as honest as possible in those videos, so the fact that I can just stream this directly and you guys can see the experience I'm having. It's just a... seemed like a no-brainer today. Um, let's get the Glock again. And yeah, it's a business expense for me, right? Like... It's, uh... This comes off the business. See you again. See you, buddy. Bad and unfinished. Yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to be an unfinished game. It's the whole idea of early access, but... um, I think a lot of us were like, maybe, what if, you know? Imagine, what if it's good? 
Hey. And at least in the most hey. recent trailers, we've been thinking, you know what? You know, they've, they've actually made a game, and now You're I believe welcome. that it's real. But they just didn't show enough gameplay. Like, moment to moment, like, gameplay. You don't have to worry about the it was always little clips, See like, stitched again. together. Four ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Yeah, that'd be reasonable. As an early adopter before the game, you know. If they did play tests, I think that'd be really beneficial to actually shaping up the game before launching. But like, actually let people play for free. Just think after showing you that trailer I showed earlier, the launch trailer, as the game crashed as I've got into the dark zone. I think maybe it has. I don't know, that coin in the bottom right isn't spinning anymore. Hmm. I think it's an alt F4, boys. Which means we're back into server queue simulator. Like, when do you ever do this? This is where people feel like they've been sold a lie. The day before offers players a uniquely reimagined journey into a post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic open world MMO. That looks open world. But the game is just... I mean, I never see this. I never see a horde of zombies like that. I mean, there's a reason to buy the game, am I right? Damn, that might be the most convincing screenshot I've seen. Uh, but yeah, most of the game is just uh, running around. The, the open world. The, the open world. is. Uh, it's just this. This is the game. Just running around an empty city. That's kind of what I expected, though. So, like, obviously, those those initial trailers came out a couple years ago, maybe a year ago. And then, in that time, they've made a game as close to that as possible. Um, and this is what we're left with. It's just so far from those initial trailers. Yeah, it's too much running around, definitely. There at least needs to be a toggle sprint key. Asset flip the game. I want to see that side by side comparison again. This is an entry gate in the Division 2. This is the gate in. Uh, this is the gate in the day before. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. I don't spend a lot of time on this intro, but seeing that. That's 4040p. Is that the quality I used to record at? Looks so like. The misery that. This doesn't look good. It is Again. This is a gate in the Division 2. This is the gate. <laughs> this is the gate in the day before. It's the same. Right, how long is it going to take to get into a server? I really want to get in EU. That last one I queued into was uh, Asia again, unfortunately, because I've only got like 60 servers per region that you can get into. Game trailer, colon. Damn, can't wait to play this. Game releases, colon. So where can I get my money back? Pretty much. It is a, it is a money grab. Let's just say what it is. I started the stream pretty optimistic. Ready to be surprised. I was in the sense that, oh wow, it's actually a functioning game. But the game we have is just so empty and um, just there's really not a lot to it. I feel like I've completed the gameplay loop. And now it's just rinse and repeat. If the, if the gunplay was really fun, then it would save the game, I think. But it's just not. It's really, uh... It's barely functional. It's 
not what I, I'd quote in the trailer is maximum realism. Okay, I don't think we're going to get into an EU server. Let's try NA. Yeah, this is the worst part, man. How many players per server? Um, chat has been saying 32. Which, based on that, there's... Uh, I mean, Stod worked out earlier. There's there's now 24,000 in a, in game. I think the game peaked at around 30-something thousand. Let me have a look. The day before Steam charts. Uh, so, yeah, those... I'm on Steam database. Verify you are human. Um, okay, it peaked at 38,000 players. So there's now 24,000 in game. There's the, there's the peak. And... There's about 60 servers per region that you can join, each with 32,000 in them, which would mean there's a total of about 6,000 players actually able to play the game. Uh, who are actively in a game, even. Whereas the rest of people are just trying to get into one of these 60 servers per region. Which all say full. But you just have to keep clicking them and hoping that someone's left. There's a refresh button down here. Often it does this, fades to black, which I assume is someone else has clicked that at the same time as you, and and they've got in, but you haven't. If it returns you. It's just a gamble whether you're going to get in or not. I've had to play on uh, Asian servers most of the time, which obviously gives me higher ping and... Oh, I thought we got in then. But they're at least more uh, accessible. Even with refunds, it's like one mil bag secured. Yeah, they've made their money. And hopefully they'll use that money to make the game better. And closer to that vision and add actual hordes. Because I've only ever seen like one, two, three zombies max in a in a little tiny area. Like never have I seen um What was it? This one? This was the reveal trailer for the game. And there's a moment where Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming to tear you to pieces. Look at that. Jumps in this elevator. Goes up. Door opens. Another massive horde of zombies. In both directions. So it's a very like scripted vertical slice and and it's not indicative of what the actual experience is. And obviously graphically. Okay, and I'll look around here. It's night and day how crazy this looks. And they've actually deleted this uh release trailer off their main channel, I think because yep. if you know it doesn't represent the final product now. You definitely can't do that. Careful, because not all players are friendly. And then he has this fight where there's like... Like this is the Last of Us reticle. Even this, look. When he gets shot, you see that? You know, don't have anything like that in the game. That's very like Joel. You get shot in The Last of Us. Joel, like, has a reaction like that. And yeah, then he bashes through this door with a, a, a run and bash, which you cannot do in-game. It's kind of crazy. 
so yeah, like depends how you view it, but like some will say that is a scam because they've not um they're not buying the game that they were sold in the trailers. It says a lot when the reveal trailer looks like a more, a more fleshed out experience than the actual full game. You know what I mean? Like they've removed mechanics. They don't even have doors in the game. Yeah, exactly. There's a couple of doors in the uh, social area that you can like press F to interact with, but then it fades to black and then you appear on the other side of it. But there's no like actual door where you, uh, you know, can open and close it. All right, guess we're going to do an Asia server again. I wish I could sort highest to lowest as well. Do you know what I mean? Need to hydrate, man. I need to play a survival game IRL. It's all good and well making sure my in-game character is hydrated and... <laughs> has food. I'm at 32% 32, 32 hydration IRL right now. I actually cannot believe you're still playing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just making sure that we see this game, like, through. And I've experienced the whole thing. If it surprises me and maybe something happens, like, after I've done a few missions or... I don't know. It's not. I feel like I've completed 90% of the gameplay loop, but... Uh, you know... It's just to show you guys the full experience, what you can expect, how you'll be sat in the menus for a long time trying to get into servers. Danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. That actually didn't put me in the social area. That put me in the dark zone immediately. So that's weird. Let's track this again. Is that tracking now? Yeah. So pressing track doesn't actually track it. Uh, fastest route is going to be... Down this road. Wait. Yeah, just run all the way down here. I don't think there is a day-night cycle either, is there? Like, we saw in that trailer there. The lighting looks look really nice at, like, Christmas time. Maybe they removed Christmas time from the game because it was so comparable to The Division, which was based at that time of year. Well, I don't think it was based at that time of year. I think it was, like, that was when the apocalypse happened, so everything, like, in the world is Christmas-themed and decorations and lights are still on. Just where are the hordes, man? I don't even see like a zombie or two like this. That's weird. Laughing. Wasn't based around Christmas. Division was, wasn't it? It had like lights everywhere. Christmas decorations and it's like often snowing. But the reveal trailer for this game was based during Christmas time, during a night time, like time of day. But I don't think there is a daylight cycle. One horde, exactly. See maybe two, three zombies in a group spread out by like 10 meters at a time. This is my actual performance, by the way. Forty ninety latest NVIDIA drivers. I feel like it might be the drivers that are the issue, because Dodd said he wasn't having too many starters, but... 
Let's suck there's no melee in the game. Yeah, you can't aim with that third person crosshair. Some money. What are the dollars? Uh, maybe you can buy certain stuff with dollars only, but... Yeah, I do wish it was uh, a bit easier to tell what I can and can't loot prior to approaching the object. Lol, no melee. <laughs> no, there's no melee in the game. No basic melee, no punch. No, that was one of these things. I actually can't interact with that. No melee weapons. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's whenever I like go in and out of buildings and stuff. It's like I have to load the entire city, so it's like, here's all of the stutters possible. Okay, almost there. I should have ammo in this. Two shots. It's a shotgun, right? Yeah. Sort of. Did hear a player shooting nearby. Oof. I do feel like they should have uh, full scent on this like first person perspective though. Third just makes the combat like so predictable and Obviously, I can do stuff like this and just watch my enemy before peeking. I just don't feel like there's any intensity. It works in some games. But when the actual gameplay loop is as minimal and there's not as much to it, you're like fully dependent on just peeking your, peeking your enemy like around corners. That is the combat. Am I finding again? Walkie talkies, right? Fumigator. Yeah. And they're in this area. Dude. Because it's got worse. Look at this. I feel like last time we found like all the items in Yeah, here we go. In like the same place. I don't like that I can't rotate stuff. There we go, there's another one. What's that? I'll play. Ceiling foam. I'll drink that, and then I can carry an extra one. This looks nothing like it was advertised. Yeah. They got it as close as they could before launch. I don't think, I don't know why they decided to launch when they did, and had like, in all their tweets and responses to people who were saying, you know, this game doesn't look ready, this game doesn't look real. I hate that I have to do that. I just walk up to random stuff and see if I can loot it or not. That was a gamble whether or not I could loot that. I loot this, yeah. That one's been looted by the looks of it. Unless I did that, I don't think I did. Okay, so that's all three of them. And now I want to extract, unless I'm able to track multiple things, but I don't think I am. Nearest extract is look for the DMZ man. There he is. There's one there as well. So those don't change. Extracts are the same every time. 
So now if I go out here and go down this way. Cool. Just follow this road down. Yeah, I'm on, a, I'm on Asia servers, so some, some of the, the lag might actually be server-side. I, um, I can't play EU or NA. Uh, I, I try, but the servers are just full. Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but people are tuning in at all, all times, and basically the, the reason why I'm doing that is because there's about 60 servers per region, and everyone that's playing the game is trying to get into one of those 60 servers. Uh, per region. So, there's a lot of waiting. God, it's actually got really bad. Give it some time, might actually be a decent game. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to completely write it off in the future. But I am going to judge this experience, being early access and being the price that it is. Not everyone has a high-spec PC like I do, so the fact that I'm even struggling like this. And again, maybe it is a problem with the latest drivers, but I don't really see that being a huge problem. Like, I've got a beastly PC. Top spec, and... I know that it's running at its actual, like, best in terms of... You know, I've, I've got the most out of it that I can, and... All my benchmarks and everything I've done recently have been fine. Everything's running as it should be. I actually saw this area in the trailer. It's a workbench here, but I've got no mods for the gun. Zombie games. Zombie game without zombies. Yeah, kind of. It's supposed to be PvE and PvP, but I've maybe seen three players total and probably ten zombies in my entire playthrough. I say playthrough. It's not exactly a single player game, is it? They shut the forums down and locked the Discord. Really? Just to, like, silence the the negativity. That's crazy. I can't turn that stuff off on Steam, though. That's illegal. Probably not even an option on the developer's part. Yeah, if you're tuning in and wonder whether or not it's worth buying, um, don't. <laughs> you just have to check the Steam reviews. And that'll give you every answer you need. It's currently got an overwhelmingly negative um, score. With like 5,000 reviews from players. Was that a gun or a zombie? No. Oh. I think I'm going to play for like another... I get another hour max, and the goal for me now is just going to be to complete missions and try and, like, afford one of the, uh, like a, I don't know, like a, some armor, a good gun, so we can at least experience that side, see if the gunplay maybe improves in that regard, and just, like, send it on people. I say send it, like, I'm constantly, like, holding shift and waiting for stamina to respawn, so. Refill, even. at this road. Wait, there are zombies in this? Yep. There are. Advertised as zombie hordes, but you'll only ever find like one or two max. This is the first time we've actually successfully extracted without being shot at extract or crashing. That's a player. I have just seen a player. Wait. Wait. Oh, that's a zombie. Never mind. This came out in 2015. This would look good. Yeah. Well, I don't know. 
The Division 1 looked better than this. Oh my god, the flinch from that zombie. How is that not connected, by the way? He's not even dead yet. Shotgun's pretty cool. Doesn't have a typical shotgun crosshair, though. I don't, I don't really find these zombies worth, worth looting. Jeez, can't get my words out. Do only have ammo? <sighs> That's what happens when you try and vault. I can't believe they showed a vault mechanic in the trailer. Our boys are on their way. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, I'm going to play till like midnight UK, get some food, and then at half past midnight, the Game Awards are on, if you didn't know. Rather buy Redfall for five bucks. Yeah. You'd actually get more for your more bang for your buck, that's for sure. Even if you buy Redfall at full price. I think my game's crashed while leaving. So. That's good. Another one, put it on the list. Yeah, no melee, no vault, no door bash. Um, no third person like animations to the flinch and all that sort of stuff that's shown in the trailer. No zombie hordes, no interactable doors, no elevators. Maybe 20% of the entire city is, you're able to go inside like a cafe or a, like a clothing store, but you can never go vertically up. There's never like a... Uh... You know, I've not really found like anything like this. The infected. Nothing like this. You to pieces. Getting in, closing the door behind me. Shit. And certainly no hordes. to tear you to pieces see nothing like that hordes of bloodthirsty infected it's a shame man because you know that stuff like that would at least add some replay value but there's no way i can say to a friend like oh should we hop on and go hunt some you know like play it like a horde shooter like find zombies and just try and grind and find loot on the zombies or even players there's there's no way to actually find them like a lot of these games have um you know, like stuff where you can track down a player, like a contract of some sort. Like even the division had stuff in place where you could actually locate players and mark them. There's nothing like that in this. So if I got a mission that said kill three players, it might take me three hours to complete that mission. And we just played that entire run, didn't we? And didn't find a single, didn't encounter a single player. Maybe two zombies. Yeah, I'm glad the Steam reviews are one thing that they can't take down. Like, they can shut down their Discord, they can shut down their forums, but there's over 5,000 uh, reviews now. That's insane. I mean, the biggest one is just, like, people saying scam, performance, and um, it's not a, it's not an open-world MMO. I, I actually can't believe that's even, like, that's the genre they've put it in. Ridiculous. I've not seen any areas like that. It's only city-based. So maybe that's something that like they've tried working on and didn't have time to squeeze in. Maybe there's like a different version of the Dark Zone that's uh, it's like in, in, a, in an open like forest environment, maybe that we yet to see. I think over the next like three months, we're gonna really see how they respond to the negative feedback, and if it turns around at all, then cool, but I think there's going to be another one of those games that launches in early access, stays in early access for five to six years, and then it's finally at a point where it's playable, but, you know, whether or not they're going to make the money uh, in order to do that long term, because they've definitely made some 
they made some they made some cash off the off the first day for sure. There's a lot of people that bought the game. There's also a hell of a lot of people if you look at those reviews that have refunded already. Because yeah, I, I want I wanted to enjoy this game. It's just a shame that at every hurdle, every opportunity they've had to impress me, it's been a letdown. Gunplay sucks. Healing sucks. Can't cancel the animation, so if you start a first aid, then you're stuck in it and the player can push you while you're locked in a, in one position. Game's crashed again, just trying to freaking join a server. Can't even launch the game. I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, you know? I'm still persevering and trying to get something good out of it, but... Like, all of this stuff as well is just pointless. There's no mechanic in place where if I run on a treadmill, or I do some weightlifting, I'm increasing the amount I can carry, I'm, I'm increasing my stamina permanently, you know, leveling up that system would be cool. It's just you do it, and then it says, here's a, you have, uh, what is it, increased stamina temporarily. And it doesn't give you a time of how long that's going to be, so. They definitely need to expand the servers. I, I can't believe, after all the hype, they didn't think that having 60 servers per region was going to be a problem. Imagine their next game was a GTA clone. Yeah, they've striked off the division. You're banned. Yeah, imagine they just banned me for talking negatively about the game. See, this is this is one thing I don't do on my channel very much. And I don't actually... I don't know if you've noticed. A lot of the games, if not 99% of the games I play, because I want to actually enjoy my experience when I play a game... It's me saying, oh, this game is good, this game is good, this game is good, this game is good. Because I want to play games that I enjoy, and I want to recommend and showcase games to you that are worth playing. If I was to have recorded this offline, which I've done with so many games now, I'm not the kind of person to really make, like, a negative video bashing a, a company. I will play a game, and then, you know, I'd maybe put this amount of time in, and the, the video would never see the light of day. Because technically, I wouldn't say I've got any footage from this game right now. But streaming it to you guys, you're really seeing the entire experience from start to finish. And what that experience has been for me. I'm not lying to you, I'm not sugarcoating it, I'm not like... You know, I, I'm a pretty positive guy when it comes to games. And I, I try to praise devs when, you know, I've stumbled across something that more players should know about. Sniper Elite 5, for instance, when I made that video on the... Uh, um, the hunting mode. We go in online, like actually hunting players down. Seemed that a lot of people were surprised that that was even a thing in the, in the Sniper Elite franchise. So, like, I'm a pretty positive guy when it comes to this stuff, but I just can't actually say. I can say that the foundation here is good and they can build off it, but ultimately, it's a foundation that already exists in the division. You just go into the division, hunt down like actual enemies in an open world, and then. Uh, enter a dark zone, which is what this entire game is. It's just like dark zone the game um, And have that experience that's more fleshed out The looting seems kind of pointless in this other than to grab loot go back sell it buy guns Buy outfit go in die do it all over again And that works in games like Tarkov where there's loads of mechanics behind it and every game feels unique But the gunplay here isn't different enough to where each time I enter um, I'm gonna have a different experience. It's like very bare bones and basic. I, just, I can't believe in that trailer they say like, we focused on maximum realism in our gunplay with realistic recoil. It's tough, man. Just want to be real. I don't want to like play a game that's obviously got a lot of hype behind it and people want to enjoy it and then play it and be like, guys, you definitely need to play this. It's not something I can recommend. Maybe in a few months it might change. You know, they might have a good response and be able to turn things around a bit. Here we go. 
go. These two servers are at low pop. Must have just spooled up. I think they may be adding a couple of servers at a time. Can we get in? Into a European server, finally? Or is the game crashed? Let's find out on this episode of the day before the day before. Yeah, Viewfinder's a great game, Patrick. That's a good example. Oh, no. I think everyone's just trying to get in, man, as soon as a new server pops up. They're patching in five minutes. Really, Philip? What's changing? They're shutting the servers down. Why? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just like, what is their explanation for it? Should we check their Twitter and see if they've said anything? Twitter. The day before. It's going to be this account that's tweeting updates and stuff. Okay, that was our last one. What do you mean every server's overloaded? Why don't you just expand? Why are there so few servers per region? That Christmas gameplay looked good. Yeah, Steven. Yeah, I'd even like to just play it at like a nighttime, just for a bit of difference there, but there's it's you can only play that the Dark Zone in daytime, which is funny considering it's called the Dark Zone. It's not called the Dark Zone. I don't know why I'm saying that. You know why I'm saying it, because it is the Dark Zone from the Vision. But yeah. There's no uh, there's no day night cycle. It's just day. Unless maybe I've got like, you know, really unlucky on the The rotation of day and night cycle. I've only got day so far. Yeah, I mean, if you do buy a Switch, you've got like two hours to play and then refund. Like, if you really do want to try it for yourself, then I understand that. But, um, you know, there's a lot of people that just want to see gameplay and make that judgment. My recommendation is just to either... Well, I say either. Just wait. I wouldn't say, or buy it, try it for yourself, refund in two hours, because it's a bit like... I feel like you, you already know the experience you're going to get. Can't step over sandbags. Yeah, that was tough. There's no vaulting animation, which is really, really bad. You can't even, like, reach over stuff like that. Like, even if you try... Like, what is the point? Why would you ever jump? I have to queue into an Asian server again. They seem to be the only ones that I can get into. Watch them make it a BR. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they will. Make it like ROE where you just spawn at random parts of New York and then fight each other. I think we're still at that point where we want to see more extraction shooters, right? And that's what this is, basically. Like, it just is an extraction shooter. With missions. It's very DMZ. But even that was like quite a bare bones experience overall. And that's still got like five times the amount of content that this has. I know again this is early access, but I... You know... When you're buying a game early access, you kind of already know what the foundation is going to be, so... Steam game update? Okay. That would explain why all those servers just so showed they were low. Unless I'm able to get in right now. Hey, yo. We're in. Well, now that I'm in, I'm not going to update. Have we got like confirmation on what the update addresses? Do we know that yet? Needs to bring the energy back, man. Kind of like taking it out of me a bit. Kind of knew what <laughs> I kind of knew what to expect, but you know, just feel like I've reached the end point of what the experience is, and so now I'm just trying to like find and demonstrate new stuff. I feel like the the goal for me now again is just to. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much oh my god! I've got to run all that way to extract to again because it crashed when I extracted. Yeah, again, the goal for me now is to just, like, try and, um, get the money from the mission rewards, and then 
like buy some of the cooler like guns and armor and stuff. in the head to kill a zombie. All for zero loot. What is the point? Okay, so follow this way round. Yeah, follow this road. We see the farmhouse. Um, I don't have a farmhouse. You start the game and you have a tent that costs costs literally zero. With a bed and stuff. And then if you want to buy an actual cabin, it costs like one point something million or two million for the other one. Which is an insane amount of like game time and grinding people to do just to get a cabin that is useless to them. What benefits do you get out of it? Like, I think maybe, um... Maybe you can, like, sleep and get energy somehow? I think the energy maybe persists between each deployment, so... I really have, I just have to completely... Well, I always have to bring out the map like this. It needs to be a compass with the uh, the extract symbol on it. So when I'm facing the right direction, I can just run towards it without having to bring that map up every time. So it's not a simple like overlay map. I have to bring out the tablet, which takes a lot of time. Obviously, you're quite vulnerable in that moment as well. Oh, look, I haven't seen that zombie type. I've seen that in all the trailers. Let's see if that's harder to kill. It's like an armored zombie. really do out the lag. Here we go. Shit. Can't melee this guy, so reload and bang. That's the closest to a horde I've had yet. I'll take it. Actually had a... Uh, endorphins kicked in. Now I'm Joel. Some serotonin. Oh my god. A little bit. I'm really tempted to just go and fight that player. I really want to just get some PvP in. But... Because my game crashed as I extracted, I need to just get out with this loot that I have for the mission. New game update is online. The Sunrock server will shut down in five minutes. Okay. There's our confirmation. I like that in games. have like a message that displays in game like that. Magical zombies that don't die from headshots, yeah. Five bullets to the brain isn't enough. It's so laggy man. Really bad as it tries to like render the city. I mean, it's I like. Oh my god, a horde. That player is. That player just got owned, man. I have some ammo. 
could try and take this guy on. Swung and hit me. Love that. Some massive lag there, just to spice things up. Hard bleeding. Oh no, player! intensity guys yes i'm so glad i died something happened something happened i could have snuck like just gone past you know got to the extract but with five minutes to spare i'm glad i just had a little experience where we got to fight a horde all right restarting game updating What's it gonna be? <laughs> Why so laggy? I don't know, early access. Okay, it's a small update, so I'm, maybe it's like server stability, I don't know. Let's find out. Bro, why is everyone hating like this is bad? Cammy, come on. Come on, Cammy. It's a good foundation. It's got stuff in place. I'll give you that. Like, you know, it's, it, but like I've said, it, it, they've, they've not been original. Like, this is the Dark Zone experience in the Division, which is always on sale and is full of expansive content. Me as a content creator, I can't recommend this to my audience because it's not... It's, it's like 30... What? Store page... It's a £34 game, so like $40. And the game that they have like shown in all the trailers is not the game. It's advertised as an open world MMO, but if it's an enclosed environment in a small area of like a New York kind of looking city, like The Division is, it's just uh, like, you know, what are your standards for a game of that cost? Like if the price of entry is that high to get that experience... I don't want to tell you. It's not, you know. There's there's enjoyment to be had. Fine, you can you can get the experience of the dark zone for paying that amount. Um, but if you've had the experience before, like I have, I put like two hundred hours into Division Two and played a lot of Division One. Um, it's not doing anything for me because I've had like a better experience with a fully fledged, fully updated game with loads and loads and endless like amounts of content, I felt like. This is just an extraction shooter where the gunplay is really weak. I'm finding maybe like a pool of zombies. If you just tuned in and you just saw that moment of the zombies, by the way, of that little zombie encounter I had, that's the first time we've had that, where I've had, like that is the closest thing to a horde. Other than that, I've had maybe like three zombies spread out by like 10 meters. Um... And we've been live for coming up to four hours. That's the first time we've had that. Otherwise, it's been running around for 10 minutes. Maybe I'll find a zombie. That actually was interesting, gameplay-wise, for me. I've wanted to see something like that, so I just want more of it, you know? Try some VR games, Tommy. Yeah, I've what is it? Ghost of Tabor. Um, Rain. Is that is that the name of the game? It looks interesting. I've, I don't own a VR headset, but I've been I'm, I've been thinking about it. There are some like you know the games are stepping up now. 
Uh, did anyone type in the chat what the, uh, the update did? Do we know? Should I refund mine? I haven't played. Uh, Sonny, you can play. If you want to, like, actually get a feel for it for yourself, you can play up to, like, two hours, but don't play beyond that point. Um, you can refund it. If you actually do we just want to, like, get a taste for it. But I, I, I can tell you now, there's not enough content here, longevity-wise, to keep you playing longer than a week. The gunplay, PvP, all that sort of stuff isn't interesting enough to warrant your investment in time. Especially when the servers are so, like, bad and stability and performance just isn't great. I'm playing on, like, a high-spec a high spec system. You know, I kind of need to for my job, but, like, it's, uh, it's not even running great. Steam's giving everyone refunds. Yeah, I've seen that. Keep it up. I only made it to one university. I mean, yeah, you don't even need to hear it from me. I think those refund, those uh, reviews are the best thing I you can check out, right? I, had the chance. I am glad as like a crutch to give you 500 to spend every time you, uh, you die. Imagine if they didn't give me money and I had to go in with no, it's no gun. Nice day today, isn't and there's it? no melee. There's no melee mechanic. Put your things in here. Come anytime. Oh, I will. See you again. Um, yeah, let me see. YouTube's not updated for me. Uh, Ian, thanks for the 10, dude. I love you, Tom, but I feel guilty watching you suffer for us. At the end of the day, man, I've got, like, one of the best jobs in the world. I get to play games for you guys and give you reviews and tell you, like, my opinion. And whether or not you, you like... If that means anything I've to you, then, <laughs> you know, I'm just glad I get to do what I get to do. Um, ultimately, I'm not suffering. Let's be real. The game's a bit of a chore to play, but, you know, there's worse things. There's worse <laughs> things I could be doing. Yeah, so you want to afford some of this stuff, but they have put the price up quite a lot, and I feel like they've done that just so there's a reason to keep playing. Yeah, there's no melee, uh, go. No melee weapons and no basic melee, like, with your fists. Can't even buy armor. It's not even, like, a cheap armor I can buy. You're welcome. Come again. Um. You, buddy. Yeah, so I'm gonna store my money, go back in. Not the servers of... I don't know... Well, I did get in instantly there. I didn't even address that. I was talking about the game. I got into a Europe server there, so... Good luck to you. Zass is good. Hey, how's it going? At least it exists now. Yeah, it's a real game. Put your things in here. Ready. That's what if she said. Need... See you again. God damn it. <laughs> PUBG took three years to add vaulting. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't like it. PUBG at least had good movement mechanics. This game doesn't have a, uh, like a, a movement system. You could bunny hop in PUBG, you could bunny hop, uh, uh, bunny hop up hills, you could crouch jump, so you like press space, then crouch, and you'd get into a window regardless of vaulting. It was a faster way of doing it. It was more, it felt more like competitive and like akin to H1Z1, which was arguably the biggest inspiration for PUBG. Uh, vaulting, they, over time they just added more mechanics that, um, I've just crashed, haven't I? Over time they added more mechanics to make it feel, like, more realistic, right? So even if it, even if it takes this game three years to add vaulting, which, you know, was in the, the launch trailer, um, I don't think it's a reflection on, like, PUBG was as bad as this. Cause it never was. It was arguably better at launch. Yep, game crashed again. Huzzah. How many crashes is that now? It's quite a few, isn't it? Ten minutes ago, Hotfix was released. Uh, I'm trying to read... I'm trying to see in chat what... Um... Enjoyed the stream. Transparency. Transparency is great. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say it's like... The best game to watch. <laughs> best game to play, even. Uh, what was I reading? Uh, Bryce, thanks for the five, dude. If they quickly update a few things, 
Zombie reaction to gunshot. Gunshots. Uh, hang on. YouTube's being weird. Keeps cutting off donors for some reason. Um, uh, two headshots need to be more critical. Yep. Three tons more zombies. 100%. I'm with you there. It's just so empty. That's what I feel like. I feel I feel like I'm not getting rewarded for my time investment because I'm not running into those things enough. Like, how the hell is this a zombie apocalypse? How did the human race get, like, wiped out almost entirely by six zombies in a <laughs> an entire city? That's the worst thing as well, the fact that the game's based in a city where there would be, like, the largest population of people. And I'm seeing six zombies. Uh... Wildebeest, thanks for the five. I appreciate the evening stream, if nothing else. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for the five. Appreciate the dono. Uh, Disaster Tourist. Loved your, days, loved your Days Gone videos from a while back. It's on sale for $12 on Steam right now, and a much better alternative to this game. Has real hordes. Yeah, definitely recommend that. If there's a sale for that game, 100%. It's great. I want to post some more Days Gone videos. The only reason why I've stopped that is because YouTube was ridiculously, like, restrictive. They would... Uh, restrict those videos to certain territories, remove monetization, and age restrict them to it was where it was like 18 plus. Like you had to verify your age before you could watch. Um, yeah, just because like the, the blood when you kill zombies and stuff. So, you guys proved to me that regardless of that being a thing, because my last uh, Sniper Elite video got age restricted and demonetized, limited ads. Uh, but you guys just went crazy with, like, the engagement, which I really appreciate, like, liking the video, commenting. Um, it goes such a long way in the algorithm, because it shows that people, like, are actually, like, rating it, you know? And so the video, you know, it's, it's one of my highest performing, performing videos in, like, the recent, like, the last few months. So, um, yeah, if, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll gladly post more videos, even if it means I'm not really going to get paid for it. I just enjoy making that content, so... Um, and if it brings new viewers and, you know, eyes to the channel, then great. I don't want to feel stuck playing games that don't have, like, violence, you know? I'm an adult. I want to play mature games. I don't want to play Fortnite for a living just to make money. This game won't exist in a year. Nah, I mean, it'll exist, but I don't think anyone will be playing it. <laughs> Five years and still rushed. Yeah, I don't know where that five-year statement come from. It's always a bad thing when the devs do stuff like that and, like, sort of praise themselves before the game launches. I don't know if you guys remember when 2042 did that and all the devs on Twitter were talking about, like, oh, this is the best Battlefield game ever. I think it's because there were, like, so many young, passionate, like, new DICE developers and all that, like, old DICE team had left. Um, so where they were just, like, happy to be working on a Battlefield game, right? Here we go, got on a server. So yeah, they were like sort of praising themselves before the game released and then it released in a poor condition and then they all went silent. Had to knuckle down and make th make a, a game closer to what we wanted. Uh, why don't you join population low server? I've, I've, I've been doing that. If you've um, not seen up to this point, basically that like, uh, I think there's like a max of 30 something odd, 32 players per server. Um, and there's only 60 servers per region. So even if I click one that says full, there might be a chance that someone leaves and I can get in. Um, but even the ones that say low pop, they're often full. It's just the, 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 the word on the right isn't relative to how full the actual server is. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. This isn't a game where... You click a ser you you click quick play for instance, and it will put you in a fresh server. These are like servers that are always ongoing, and there's like sixty of them per region, um, and everyone's trying to get into them. So even if it says low, there's a high chance that it's actually full. I'm really not a fan of having to like adjust the weapon sway of the third person crosshair. Sucks, man. And they've got the most insane range as well.
Yeah, if you know what I mean, look. So watch my crosshair. I'm not moving my mouse. So when I'm like aiming at zombies, it's never going to be center of my screen. But when I go, you can single tap ADS, which does this. And then look, that's like really precise. I don't know why the over the shoulder is like so crazy inaccurate. I suppose they want you to use it as um, as like a last resort close quarters thing. But I think it should be re the reverse, right? Like your main aim should be first person where you're more accurate and your secondary aim should be third way or less. Are all zombies the same? Uh, there's three variants of zombies I've found. There's these guys, the basic ones. Still take a fair few headshots. Then there's a step up where they're like kind of... Um, like basically like naked looking zombies with like stuff growing out of them. And then there's the armored zombies, which I fought like maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. You can, uh, on YouTube, you can rewind the stream whilst it's live. Uh, so if you do want to like scrub back a bit, you'll find that encounter. That's the first one of those I've seen in four hours. Okay, so you're saying it flashes if I get it right. So it's going to be seven, eight, zero, and two, because these are the numbers that are worn. Can I go back? No. Oh, the panel's closed. What? It's weird. What flash am I looking for, chat? Just make sure I see this in chat before I uh, continue. Oh, great. There's a timer on it anyway. Yeah, basically, these keypads, I guess, will, if I, if I do this, it'll open up a room somewhere. Otherwise, this uh, alarm goes off. I'm hearing a player. Yep, right there. You guys heard or saw that, but like I took bullets after she died. Don't exactly have much. <laughs> God, the alarm's so annoying. Yeah, so that would be good, Enigma. If the, if the zombies actually ran at the sound, that's a great idea. I'm surprised that's not even a thing. I also think zombies should just spawn. Like, once you've cleared the zombies in that area, then... They never return. Watch me get shot at now. Still got a couple uses left in that first aid kit. Oh, I did actually have something. And yeah, they, uh, they, they despawn too fast too. Like, they just like kind of wither away. Okay, I took a little bit of damage. Um, use. What a great animation. Alright, missions. Do this again. I'm going over there, which means... Second right, straight up the road. fake dumpster fire game. I mean, it's a real game, clearly. And it's certainly one of the games of all time. It's one of the games ever made. It's certainly one of them. So, you know, I'll give him credit in that respect. Everyone that said it was fake, well done. You made a game. Is it a good one? No. Joel jacket back, please. 
Take a smart watch, why not? Another keypad here. See if I can scroll up. Worn out buttons, yeah. Yeah, no one's really talking about it. Why can't I even open this panel? It's so annoying, man. That's an annoying bug. It's just a meme. It, that's just how it is. Like the, the the rumor was that the game didn't exist because the trailers were so. Fuck's sake. <laughs> the trailers painted a picture of a game that was like you know we all really wanted to see, and because there was no like, uh, you couldn't really find sources to its existence, and um, this studio kind of came out of nowhere. Everyone was like, is this game even real? And every snippet of gameplay looked like it was like manufactured and. A vertical slice, not a full experience. Something they crafted for the sake of a reveal trailer, and then uh, since then they've been trying to create that, exper that experience on a, a larger um, playing field, I guess is the word. A larger scale. And uh, they've not uh, they've not attained it. The, s the scale, I guess, is there in terms of the city. But look at this freaking performance, man. Any stutters you see on stream are the same ones I'm seeing in game. I think it's the clutter more than anything. They've got like this, like you know, trash and stuff to fill, fill out areas. Okay, this way. Get to work getting a fight at 10 FPS. I did start and stop though. Any drivable, drivable vehicles? There should be. We've just not seen any. It's literally a running simulator. In the trailer, they show a car, but. Um I've not found a single car that's like intact. I'm hearing a guy opening doors and stuff. Or like, uh, it won't be doors, will it? Because you can't open doors in this game, lol. It's probably in that cafe. Yep. I see him, he sees me. say about a 10, 10 FPS gunfight. Yeah, I'm just not... Doesn't do it for me. Even, like, without the performance issues, the gunplay is just so bare-bones. He had a shotgun, right? No, oh, uh, decent rifle. I don't mind if I do. Take your damn pants as well, man. Cool. Um, straight ahead on that road until it goes forty-five degrees to the right. I have to revert my drivers and see if I can uh, get it to run better that way. This build of the game might be uh, 
guy now. That part now is that now I've shot at him, he has a third person peek as advantage. So he's like, probably shoulder peek in this window. He's the elevators we saw in the trailer. Oh shit. I think he went up. Also, don't want to get too overzealous because I don't know what HP I'm at right now. Oh, maybe maybe they died. Come on. Jesus. It's fine when you're like in a closed part of the city, but... Really do with some actual performance when I'm in a gunplay. Gunfight, even. In a gunplay? Okay. Now I will have heard that audio cue. So now it's in my best interest to rotate. To where he hasn't heard me. <laughs> He's looting still. It's just so bad though, like, it's impossible to. I keep keypad? No. Like, he could be third person peeking me around these corners. That's what I don't like about third person games. Okay, so you can interact with the elevators. That's good. Gotcha. And he disconnected from the game, which means I can't loot him. Hang on, guys. YouTube's trying to run ads. Let me just skip those for you. I don't like them playing when I'm actually in combat and the content's somewhat interesting to watch. Yeah, there should be like a bag he drops or... Something that I can actually interact with to loot. Three shots to the head with this rifle as well. Come on now. I want to see what's upstairs. Nice reflection. Okay, now what? I'm coming for you, Ellie. Ellie! You're my girl, Ellie. I ain't never gonna let you go. I can't take you away from me. Oh, hi. God, look how delayed that is. Christ on a bike. Three shots to the head <laughs> with an M1. Can I use this equipment? No. So you can use it in your home base, but not in the actual level. 
That's a shame. That'd be funny. Oh, this place is a bit more interesting. This is like central building we found. But it's also one that they showed in the trailer. So in my mind, it, it's... It kind of makes sense. They make these like vertical slices like I explained earlier. To where, you know, they can flesh them out a bit more and then show them show them in the trailers. So you think, oh yeah, this is going to be everywhere. But it's not. It's only in like select places. Because this is that exact building. Um... From... From this trailer. It's a bloodthirsty infected. My game crashed. Tear you to pieces. Just standing still, by the way, in the game. It's actually having an interesting game there. Should have seen this shit. It seems he dodged a bullet. So... He's crafting a bandit. Did you see that horde he just it's fought? Fresh. I've shown this like three times during the stream now, but there's always like new viewers tuning in. Hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, ready to tear you to Hordes pieces. of bloodthirsty infected. Where are they then? And then he gets up and up up there, the elevator door opens. And in these rooms that I've just searched, which were empty, I, I, I shot and fought one zombie. Shit. Look at all that. Dude, there's too many of them. I, I gotta go upstairs. He's just having a totally different experience, and there's not even an animation comparable to this. Where a zombie might be like eating a human, or what the? that's just an animation they made for the sake of the trailer. Dude, I can't believe how many game crashes I've had. I had one in the main menu for God's sake. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna call it there. We've had too many crashes. We had we were actually having a decent run there. I didn't actually do any mission stuff, but I fought some players, which is uh, more than I've done this entire stream. Um. I don't know, maybe I'll do one more. Nah, I won't. I'm done. <laughs> We've got the most out of it, right? That's 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 the game. I don't think I'm going to get more out of it. I keep playing as if there's going to be something more. I want more out of it. But four hours and... Well, coming up on four hours. Exactly four hours. I feel like you've seen enough, right? You've seen some PvP. You've seen some, like, me versus zombies... Some of that gameplay. Um, but we've basically explored the full map. There's no like contracts or interesting stuff to do. Um, we've completed the gameplay loop as far as go in, scavenge, sell loot, buy more guns, better guns, go in, do it again. But the gunplay isn't interesting enough to where like a new flashy gun is going to save it for me. Um, or you. So no, I don't recommend the game in its current state. Yes, I do recommend you read through the Steam reviews to see why. Um, and this live stream will be available as a VOD after the fact. So when this ends, you can go and watch this as a, a video. If you go to my channel and click the live tab, um, you can sort of skim through and find the moments that were interesting. And I might even timestamp some stuff, but... If COVID was a game, this would be it. Damn. Ain't that the truth. Empty streets. Six people. You may be in kind of six like zombies. <laughs> fire ass dumpster fire. Zero out of ten, but still buy. See, there's like people were just memeing. Overwhelmingly negative reviews, man. Like they were talking their they were talking themselves up so so much, like literally, trust me, bro, the developers. Tom read the updates. Um Where are the updates? Is it on their Twitter? Sorry, is it on their X? Day before. Five hours ago was the last tweet. Where do I see? It should be here. Recent events and announcements. This is the latest thing they've to they've posted. Oh no, this is. Uh, greetings dear players, first of all I want to thank you for being here on day one, it means the world to us. With the hotfix we address two critical bugs that cause most of the problems. We'll continue working on new patches and we understand the responsibility to those who have waited so long for the game. We also want to thank all the streamers watching the players exploring our new Fortune City for the first time was priceless. Your new Fortune City, that's an interesting phrase considering it's all like asset flips. Server browser removed full servers completely, so now you will see only the servers that have free slots. That is a good change. 
That's why I was able to get in so much, so easy, so much easier, even. Uh, fix that the door from Lennon's room sometimes could not be opened. Okay, so now Stodd is free. He can actually get out. Congrats. We've also added some necessary sound fixes. We're continuing to monitor the situation and we'll release new hotfixes as soon as possible. And there it is, guys. That is the day before. Whether or not I make a video after the fact, I don't know. Uh, probably not within launch week or the next month. But if uh, they actually make some substantial changes in the next, like, three to six months. Maybe. But I'm glad I streamed this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoyed the lag. Enjoyed the lack of frames. Uh, enjoyed, the enjoyed the lack of content. Like I said, I, I like to be positive with the games I play. Like, I don't really make negative, critical videos. Unless it's usually to do with Warzone. Or the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. You know, we should have higher standards, especially when it comes to AAA companies. But this is obviously not a... I don't know what games Fantastic has made before. I think maybe mobile games and some other stuff. Um, but this is obviously like a, a big IP for them. Um, one that I think they were expecting to do well. And they've kind of been talking themselves up. Uh, you know, despite all of the uh, like the gossip and things that happen behind the scenes and what they've stolen and what they haven't in terms of the assets there is in the game and what they've copied, like entire layouts and streets and building interiors, like the ambulances and all that sort of stuff is just like bought on the um, Unreal store, I think, and then placed into the game. It's not an open world MMO RPG, whatever. Well, it's not, I don't think they have RPG in the name, but I feel like this is very misleading. Open world, it's definitely not. If you've played uh, The Division in uh, The Dark Zone, it's basically just that. It's like a slice of the game. Yeah, it's tough. It's a shame, man. Um, a piece of liquid, liquid even. Thanks for the five, dude. Game is terrible. No zombies, no melee, no vaulting system. It's a walking sim. They lied about the game's quality, hiding behind early access. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. In a year's time, maybe it'll be cool, but I don't know. Feels like, you know, Daisy even launched in a bad state, and five years later, it's got a lot of players behind it. I don't know if this experience and like this gameplay and the mechanics that are often offer here are enough to keep people invested long term. But anyway, we're about at four hours now. I think that's enough. First impressions. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream, guys, regardless. Really do appreciate all the support. We had like a lot of viewers today and um, yeah, I just appreciate the love, guys. Even if uh, the game only invoked negativity, I appreciate positivity, positivity, at least in terms of the content. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream. That's uh, some money I won't get back, but, you know. <laughs> Did they sponsor you? Hell no. No, I bought the game off my own back. Um, yeah, that's the experience. Appreciate it so much, guys. Um, yeah, again, the VOD will be available if you want to go watch that. Um, click the, go to my channel, click the live tab, and then you can see the whole stream and skip through it and find out like any interesting bits, but ultimately I, I don't recommend it in its current state. More to come though, guys. It's been a busy, busy week for games, and it's not over yet. Uh, if you don't know, the Game Awards are in about 30 minutes from now, and I think there's some surprises in there. So if you want to go watch that, there's some more content for you in 30 minutes' time. Um, and yeah, more content to come this week. Some more live streams, maybe. And yeah, I'll catch you legends in the next one. Have a good night. Have a good day. Whatever whatever time it is for you. We've got people tuning in from everywhere. Um yeah, I appreciate the love, guys. Seriously. It means the world. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. That's the sound effect that describes the game. <laughs> See you later, guys. Yeah, I am going to be playing uh, Avatar, Nikto. I might make a video on that. I don't know yet. I've played quite a bit, and it's kind of a bit like Far Cry, so if I can find some like interesting gameplay, then I'll make a video on that. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like before you leave. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.